welcome. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Let's hear those feet hit the floor, mister. Let's move it, move it. Christy Lee at the news desk today. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. He's in the performance room. There's Josh Arnold. Hey. Hey. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold's over there. Good morning. I shaved today, and I didn't get... I feel like I didn't get a patch. You have that itchy... It's no good. I need a shave from the... Uh, Huh? Sternum up to the... No, right here. You got to make a choice. I'm Chick, and here's, uh, here's Tom Griffin. Thank you very much. Uh, it's good to see everybody. It's getting organized over here. A lot going on. That was a little feature from Bob. Bob's going to be our special guest coming up later today. Uh, we'll certainly look forward to seeing Bob in mm -hmm. person. All right. Um, he hasn't been in this room for many, many years, but he will be here today. Now, uh, we have a lot of interesting things going on in the world, like the, one of the biggest stories... Yesterday, in anything, was a story in the world of sports. Crazy, right? Yeah, that was a kind came of shocker. Out, came out of nowhere. Uh, Aaron Judge is going to play football, I guess. Wait a minute. That's what? a lie. That's oh. a lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even now, she goes, what? I, <laughs> What's happening? I didn't watch ESPN yesterday. You had me. I have yeah. 30 years of just unbridled lying. And what? <laughs> I still fall for it. Here's what I'm saying. The PGA Tour abruptly and unexpectedly, surprisingly, uh, dropped its extensive and expensive fight with Saudi Arabia's live golf venture yesterday. And instead, the competing tours have announced a stunning merger that creates a global operation featuring the world's top players backed by the Saudis' massive wealth as part of the deal merging the pga tour and the european tour with saudi arabia's golf interest the sides immediately are dropping all lawsuits involving live golf and from the golf side still to be determined how players like brooks kepka and dustin johnson can rejoin the pga tour after i defect last year for signing bonuses reportedly in the 150 million dollar range and here is uh pga tour director jay monahan commenting yesterday how much did you talk to your players about the possible ramifications if they sign on with the new league now this is jay talking in 2022 with jim nance about the impending brand new live golf okay okay and, and here's what he said as the league was coming in to cherry pick their players, if you will. Monahan was saying, "How much did you talk to your players about the possible ramifications if they sign on with the new league?" I think you'd have to be living under a rock to not know that there are significant implications. And as it relates to the families of 9/11, uh, I have two families that are close to me that lost loved ones, and so my heart goes out to them. And I would ask, you know, any player that has left or any player that would ever consider leaving, have you ever had to apologize for being a member of the PGA Tour? Well, now they're all one big <laughs> happy family, <laughs> evidently. <laughs> Who had the nose whistle in that interview? Was it Nance or... Probably uh, Nance. Probably. <laughs> 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 this is very distracting. Well, uh, <laughs> I did not hear a thing. Okay, yeah, it was there. Was it me? Nope. You're, uh, you're clear. I'm clear. <laughs> clear as a bell. So, um... Yeah. Saudi Arabia is the, uh, like, the, the OJ of countries. <laughs> They're acting like nothing happened. <laughs> Journal discovery, Mister, hoping that they don't get chopped up and put in a suitcase. But, but, how about the guys that took the money? I'm going to say, what would you do? What would you do if somebody offered you fifty million dollars? I'm mean, sorry. What about the guys that didn't take the money? Right. Like Tiger, they didn't take the whatever. Well, they still didn't take the money. I mean, Hundreds of millions. Stood up for the principles, and what they get? Tiger's going to be okay, right? Oh, but I mean, <laughs> I think you're right, Willie. Yeah, he's uh, he's fine. <laughs> An yeah. additional private jet would be nice. No, I feel bad for Tiger Woods. Well, doesn't get another eight hundred million. He's fine. Well, uh, and but none of Tiger's pants fit. So, hey! that, uh, well, there's one okay. like shorter. Than the other. <laughs> okay. um, what was the uh, thing that you sent me? That who was the comedian that had the? Uh, uh, I thought that was. Oh my God. That was pretty strong. I can't find it now. You can read it the next break. Uh, I want to give credit where credit is due. Maybe we should review it and then <laughs> talk about it. Well, I mean, the essence of it was... Uh, uh -oh. There we go. What the, was it? Here, here uh, we okay. go. Uh, well, I think that... Uh, well, this is uh, interesting, to 
say the least. Yeah, Rich huge Eisen, news. Rich I mean, said uh, Saudi Arabia now owns golf. They own it. Sure. Hmm. Well, is it better off? Is it not? I mean, it's it's the best players now. Absolutely the best. Instead of four, uh, four times a year, them all getting together for the majors. Like uh, Kepka won the, what was it, the, the, the Players' PGA Championship? Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess if you get a divot, there'll be oil in it. There's that got that going. <laughs> uh, all righty, well, we'll pretty see. wild. Uh, kind of a PR disaster, but they're pretty good at handling that. They've been dealing with Tiger for quite some time. It'd be nice if those uh, offers were retroactive for the guys that turned them down, at least. Mm-hmm. It's, we'll take the cash. This is an odd. Uh, Odd point to be making. What about the people who didn't take the money? Yeah, but it's a. I think it's a fair point. Okay, because you were also you were also kind of saying, hey, uh, would you turn down 150 million? I these I, guys did. I can sit here and go, oh, my principles. It, how much? I, I, right, right. I, but these I guys turned it down. Right, and so now it's like, oh man, and they probably wrestled a little bit, but it's it is weird. Well, now maybe uh, maybe uh, Live Golf will come up and give them a, a little package, maybe. Maybe. Maybe a package. They, they honestly may. Who, yeah. who knows? How okay. about a package? Well, we'll see. But we'll then, see what happens. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Do you, you take that money? I mean, it's says, still blood money. It says PGA right Tour players are very unhappy with the development, according to this well, news account. of course they are. They turned down cash, changed their schedule, stuck their necks out against Live for two years. Now they're finding out about a merger on Twitter. They all found out about it yesterday. I just can't believe that, you know, large amounts of money makes people's morals and ethics <laughs> flexible. I mean, when has that ever happened? Ever before? Uh, oh, oh, it ha oh, it happens constantly. Oh, okay. I, I got it a little bit now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, it certainly does. journalists chopped up and put in a suitcase. Something to think about. Well... Um, Boy, you're going to hammer that home, aren't you? Yes. That sort of is the issue. Uh, you're going to... I don't... Okay. There's a lot going on there other than... There's stuff we don't even know about. Other people being killed, I'm sure. Okay. Other well, than that one guy. I think that's probably the main issue right now. And what what am I doing? What am I doing? Why, why am I arguing and talking and conversing? <laughs> why, yes, Tom, you're right. That one guy in a suitcase. That's the main issue. Uh, okay. And uh, here's another main issue. Yes. Are you getting ready to uh, support your uh, Las Vegas athletics uh, as they move to Nevada from Oakland? To, uh, not so fast, my friends. Apparently, uh, plans to help build that stadium for the A's and lure major filmmakers to Las Vegas and uh, also the baseball team, the future of the Bills, now uncertain. After the Democratic-controlled legislation did not advance them before the midnight deadline, Monday turned to Tuesday in a statement early Tuesday morning. Republican Governor Joe Lombardo said he would call a special session and set the agenda. He had not by last night. A spokesperson for the Democratic Assembly Speaker Steve Yeager, I wonder if that's former Dodger Steve Yeager, <laughs> confirmed later Tuesday those two items will not be under consideration in the special Special legislature. So this is what I don't understand. This is the Nevada legislature mm -hmm. wanting to uh, put the uh, absolute okay on the A's moving to Las Vegas. Remember that was a done deal. But Remember the governor that? said no. We're not going to. The governor have. Yes. That's interesting. Yes. So that's there, it. There's some legislative. More sports coming up. Some legislative something in there that's getting stuck up. Yeah. Um, uh, stuck uh, up. Uh, coming up, we have. Uh, huh. Wow. Uh, uh, bra sizes in the news. Hmm. Bachelor party news, pickles in the news, pickles and alcohol in the news, hmm. and uh, room service requests in the news. Uh, have you ever? Uh, do you like the room service, Josh? I've, uh, ah, man, I you know what I I do, but it's not ideal. Yeah, you know, I don't like it, and I know that the chick is a big fan. I uh, think it's awkward. As but. is Christy. And I don't like eating in bed. No, I don't eat in no, bed. I, always I use usually eat at the desk. Yeah. But that's exactly. also the masturbatorium for many hotel guests. Mm -hmm. Is it really? They that's where I do it. On the bed? Have you ever been walking down the hallway in a hotel and <laughs> <laughs> reached down on those trays that's sitting on the floor and grabbed a fry? I drunkenly ate a bun off oh. of a tray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was hammered and I did it. Uh, I don't know. And the, I loved it. The desk is kind of better because you can sit easier, but it's much easier to affix your belt to the head of the bed for me. So I usually... Oh, gotcha. Yeah. 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 Masturbate on the bed. Yeah. I, I use the desk so I feel like I'm... I, feel I was like talking I'm, about eating the food on the floor. Sorry. We got off topic. Uh, right now, um, uh, also coming up, Bob's going to be our special guest uh, coming up later on the show. Uh, look forward to talking to Bob right now. It's summertime. 
And uh, food, big news in the world of food from HelloFresh. HelloFresh has a whole bunch of new stuff out there for the summer because they want you to eat well. How does it work? HelloFresh does the shopping. They do the measuring. They've got some new stuff called Fresh and Fit on their summer menu featuring calorie smart and protein smart lunches and dinners. Once again, they do the shopping. They do the measuring. You put it together. So it's a farm to doorstep quality in every HelloFresh box. And they give you the recipes and you put it together. What have you been working on, Willie? I know we got one second. Button. Okay, great. While you're stuck more. in your recipe rut, I got you some Southwest beef cavatappi with poblano and smoky red pepper crema. HelloFresh sends you 11 ingredients. Put those together in six easy steps. In just over a half hour, you're enjoying this delicious, hearty pasta dish that you made at home with help from HelloFresh. So lay back and uh, leave the shopping to HelloFresh. 16 free meals and free shipping are part of this special package. The code is BT Show 16. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show 16. Uh, once again, it's like Bob Tom Show 16. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show 16. 40 choices every week. All kinds of um, different options, including good old-fashioned comfort food. And as I mentioned, the calorie smart or protein smart stuff. So check it out. This is a great offer. When we come back, we also have uh, a couple of world records in the news and sex toys in the news. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, everybody. This is Mark. All right, hey, uh, ladies, thanks a bunch for uh, helping us out today. We appreciate it. What we're doing, um, the usual routine, we're just going to record some voices. We need a group of women. You guys are going to be portraying sorority girls, all right? So you're, yeah, you're in a sorority. And uh, so we're, we're going to get the audio of you guys kind of reacting to some things, a lot of giggling and laughing. A lot of bouncing. And, and, yeah, yeah. 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 Like bouncing. <laughs> Bingo. Good. Thank you, uh, college. Yeah, and then uh, Mark here is, uh, Mark's going to go ahead and uh, be our engineer and record all this and get everything down. And uh, this is you guys all kind of, you know, giggling and laughing, maybe like you're having a pillow fight or whatever, just, you know, having a good time <laughs> in the sorority. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was good. I think we need to do it again, though. Oh, really? Yeah, a little more jumpy, a little more bouncy. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go, ahead and, go ahead and try it again. <laughs> Okay, this next part, this is where Nurse Bob is uh, telling you guys that you're going to pair off and each of you are going to help each other uh, with this. So you're going to make some oohs and ahs and uh, eventually start making some smoochy noises, like like you're kissing or whatever. Oh. Well, you know, April and I could just kiss. Yeah, that's all right. That's, that, I don't have any problem cool with that. With you guys? Do you think, that, would that work? I like making out with ladies. Oh, well, no, no, no. You won't actually have to kiss each other and make out. It won't sound right. The audio will be all messed up for that, so don't don't worry about that. Uh, we'll just have you guys just fake it and make some noises and stuff. What? No, 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 no. Bad idea. Go, go ahead and kiss. Or just pretend like you're kissing. D do what you were going to do. Have them do what they were going to do. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> All right, that was great. That was great, you guys. Um, Mark, did you get that? that yeah. Are we all right? Yeah, I got it. That was perfect. That was great. Uh, that was Mark, great. Mark, your computer's not. Your computer's not what? on. What? Oh. Uh, not recording. We we better. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. One more time. All right. Sorry, you guys. Um, let's just try it one more time. We'll okay, uh, get the audio sure. when you hear. Thanks. All right. And Bye. action. You guys, I, I'm really sorry. I, I, I don't know what the hell's taking Mark so long in the bathroom, but uh, we'll get back to it here in just a second. Thanks for your patience. Appreciate it.
I catch him, and I go, thanks, Mean Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. And he goes, and he goes, what? what? Yeah. Oh, go, no. oh, man, that's, the, that's one of my best riffs ever, oh, yeah. falling on his deaf Gaelic ears. Yeah. 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 Good morning, sunshine. To the max, there's Maloney in our sight. Bob and Tom, 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. 24/7. Comedian Adam May has joined us in the studio. I've got a teenage daughter. Don't send girls to school. You cannot send girls to school without the right kind of clothes. Oh. They become outcast amongst their peers. Oh, right. yes. Going to school became a stinking fashion show. Mm-hmm. We're school shopping. My daughter tells me she's going to need new blue jeans. Okay. I go to Walmart. I get her new blue jeans. Well, you think I pooped in her lunch bucket or something. <laughs> <laughs> she wads them up, throws them back at me. She goes, ah, Mother, what are those? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, d- teenage daughters look like this. Yeah, they and, and all teenage girls seem to think the sound eh, is a word. <laughs> That's the voice of Chris Porter. I knew he'd weigh in with something important. Chris Porter, comedian. Now, do you get back to Kansas City often? Or are you? Uh, I get back to Kansas City. I was back last April for a wedding. Okay. For a bunch of weird experiences, I've become friends with Justin Verlander. He's a pitcher for the sure. oh, yeah, sure. Houston Astros. Yeah. At the time, he was pitching for the Tigers. Aaron Town playing the Royals, but they had a night off. So he and I went out and had a couple of drinks. And, and he said, no, watch this. He calls the waiter over. He goes, who's that chick? And he goes, well, I don't know who the chick is, but everyone at that table is Mumford and Sons. He sends them a bottle. They come over. Turns out it's not Mumford and Sons. <laughs> it's just Ann Sons. <laughs> Oh. Mumford wasn't there. I don't know where he was. I assume oh. he was back at the hotel writing a song that at some point goes, ah. <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7, which begs the question. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. There's Hello. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chickster. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. Willie Griswold's here. Big dog. I'm Chick McGee. I think I want to be called the Big Party from now on. The big oh, party. I like it a Just lot. Just call me the Big Party. Big Party. I know that. <laughs> I know you're going to have a dissenting opinion because that's. No, no, no. Big Party is you here. You are. Yeah. Big, big Party's here. here. It's the Big Party's hey. arrived. Hey, look at your watch. Big Party's here. Big did you like the wrestler Big Show? I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did. A friend of mine. Um, well, I shouldn't go into this too, but there was an overly tall. Uh, female in their school and they <laughs> called her the big show <laughs> oh that's, but she really that's didn't professional. know what uh, I see. Yeah, that was, mm-hmm. it was kind of what's the word mean <laughs> yeah. awesome. but you want to be the big party i want to be the big that's, party. so that's happy i'm fun. not a show yeah. i'm a party yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. big there parties here yeah there was a, when i was a little boy there was a guy on tv named big wilson Big Wilson. <laughs> Who was he? Yeah, what did he do? <laughs> Some kind of, I don't know, DJ or something. And wasn't, huh. wasn't there a Little Chuck and Dave or there something? There was a Little Chuck and Houlihan. That was a different thing. It's little Chuck and Houlihan. <laughs> and they were they were famous. I know about them. Yeah. Well, they were a right. Cleveland TV show? They or? were a late night. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but Big Wilson was a different era. Hmm. But you could be Big Party. Big Party. Mm-hmm. Big party. It's time for sports with Big Party. Big Party. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's sports a, is nothing but a party. Hey, big party! Hey, yo! <laughs> yeah, the problem is it sometimes. It, it, okay, try it again, Josh. Go ahead. Hey, big party! Oh, you, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's good. You know it. I, again, the problem that when you have serious sports, though, it's going to be rough. Uh, no, see, we, this is the we problem have, we get into. Have, hey, big party! Tell me about them Saudis. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the problem we get into. <laughs> Since when is this serious sports? Are you not hearing me? But I mean, sometimes you, it's this is like when they have Fred Zeppel and the traffic guy, and we now go to Fred Zeppel at the scene of the bus crash. There appear to be. <laughs> <laughs> there appears to be it was a senior citizen bus, thank yeah. goodness. <laughs> there appears to be <laughs> flames coming out of the bus as the door is jammed. You know, just well, Fred, what? <laughs> what would you do if Fred you Zeppelin. didn't Fred Zeppelin? <laughs> if you didn't have anybody to yell at during these. Hours. Hey, look, big party. I'm yelling party time. (laughs) (laughs) You know it. What would you do if you didn't disagree with someone? What would you do? I I, I agree with big party. You can be big party from now on. I'm big party? You're big party. Now, we've been through a lot of nicknames. Sports doctor. This one's going to stick for a little bit. I can tell. Sports of source Rex. You're getting it today, I promise you. Big party! Are you going to be in public at all today? Uh, Yeah. You're getting some big parties. Got to do a bunch of stuff. What was your... uh, most recent nickname I've kind of... Uh, Deluxe? That Chuck's, was in, uh, Chuck's Deluxe was that the was first one. high school, though. Yeah, but yeah. Big Party. 
Big party. Yeah, I like I'm the big party. Okay, big party. Um, You're going to hate it in about, oh, in about eight I hate days. it now. I hate it now. <laughs> <laughs> I regret it now. El Fiesta uh, Grande. You won't drink a beer with me, big party? <laughs> What's going on? Big party thinks it's too good. Big party stuck up. <laughs> big party's too good to drink with me. <laughs> Have you ever had that said to you in a series? You're stuck up. I just got it. You've I, changed. I, I, I just got it two yeah. weeks ago. Yep, yeah. just got it. It was a, it was on a work night. I had to come to work the next day, and I, I left the bar. And I, yeah, I got it. My last high school reunion, I got it all, and I I've, I'd already kind of decided. This is it. I can't go to the 50th. <laughs> I'll, I'll turn to dust. I can't do it. But I got the, uh, oh, well, you got that big radio job, huh? <laughs> and now what is it you do again? <laughs> so it's people want to hard. talk to you? Did you say, don't you realize you're, yeah, talking, that's right. you're talking to Big Party? <laughs> How you don't dare know you talk to Big Party? And I'm here and there's a big party <laughs> running around. Right, right, right. Now, uh, theoretically, Bob is going to be joining us this morning to, um, to join the party, if you will. So well, good. Uh, we will uh, certainly look forward to seeing Bob coming up this morning. Also coming up, Sexy Time mm. with Allie Breen. Oh, oh, boy. Sex Party. Well, I think Bob will be here during Sex Party. I think we moved it uh, up uh, an hour. Uh, oh, there you yeah. go. Well, I got to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Big party's too busy yeah. partying. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not paying attention. You don't have to worry about details. That big radio this. job you have, you listen much? <laughs> you pay attention? <laughs> Kiss <laughs> Big Party's ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, well, Big Party, um, uh, the... The uh, basketball party in the NBA continues. Uh, Have you decided if you're going to go to Miami or Denver? Is that tonight? Well, um, I, if we can swing it, I'd do Denver a game five Sunday night, but I don't want to push anything here. I don't want to go crazy. I think it would be the most fun to go to Miami tonight. Yeah. yeah. Get right off the air and rush to the airport. Spontaneous. Yeah. If we want to do it, we can give Yay! it a shot. There's a, <laughs> there is a precedent for that. Sure. Yeah. Bob once left the show. We were at a remote location. For a lot of reasons. But He left, <laughs> got on a plane, and flew to Los Angeles. And is that the famous picture of uh, mm -hmm. Bob and George Lopez and Paul McCartney? Yeah. That was the occasion. Oh, wow. I mean, we were, we were doing a remote broadcast, and news came over about some... Um, possible thing that he could do, but he had to leave mm -hmm. you know, r right from there. So it could be fun. I have obligations tomorrow and Friday that I don't want to miss. So Sunday does work better. But I mean, if you want to send me to a game, I'm not going to say no, right? Well, okay. Well, we'll review. We can. This is off the air. Big party. That was also the. Uh, we took a big party to Los Angeles. Uh, uh, we were interviewing uh, Roseanne and Tom Arnold when they were a couple, and Roseanne was making trouble. And honestly, this happened. I don't care if they try to sue me or whatever. <laughs> I was there. Tom Arnold to told Roseanne, he told her, Yeah. he said, you either do this interview or you're not getting this ho-ho. <laughs> Honest, swear, I saw it. I don't mm. know if he was joking, but she goes, all right. <laughs> and so she did the interview. Oh, man. We figured her. She was very nice when we talked to her. <laughs> yeah. Well, so now, was, there was a, uh, a lot it of was, people put pull the wool over your eyes. There's a, there was a broadcaster, you'll back me up on this, maybe Ace will, that uh, worked with us. That would lay out a series of candy bars on top of the broadcast console. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Ace? Yes, I do. That damn guy. And uh, it would be okay. Well, not only not yeah. only candy bars, potato chips, the whole thing. But they, there was an, an, a, but they were sort of put out there with a specific order of. The, so it'd be okay. At the 40 break, I'm eating the candy bar. Ah, huh. and the snacks at, all lined at up. At the 50 break, those chips are gone. Yeah. Is he still yeah. on the air? Uh, um, no. no, he's not on the air. He's uh, dead. Well, he's, oh, oh. He's, yeah. in, he's in the air. And I used to follow him on the air, and I had to make sure to remember to change seats. Because if I didn't, I'd be sitting in sweat. Oh, <laughs> sweat. oh God. Sweat. That wouldn't happen with Big Party. <laughs> I'm very clean. Big Party dry. <laughs> <laughs> Big party dry. Thank the only thing we, we know what's wet at big party. Okay, oh, oh, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> party. Big party. That guy also was uh, incredibly paranoid. BP. He, he thought <laughs> <laughs> you just can't get enough of it. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> he was paranoid, and I always thought his office was uh, bugged. Someone was listening to his office, and he called what? me in to offer me a job somewhere else. I guess at one point, and he turned all the stereo the stereo way up. <laughs> 
Was it? Wow. <laughs> and then do you type it out like in deep throat? <laughs> <laughs> I would have been fascinated by this guy. Oh, was yeah. he a nice guy? Wait, Wait, he was, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, Why was he scared really. of people hiding microphones at his job in a just, radio station full his, of microphones? Dude, I love it. Just his thing, man. <laughs> just his thing. I bet he was right. We used to have what they called the Nixon switch. I am not a switch. I still don't know if this really <laughs> yeah. happened. I don't think so. Where was this? I'm not. All the microphones, even when they were off, mm. they were being fed into the engineering room. Here? Yeah. So if, any, if you were sitting here talking, they were all... They but could but all be keep monitored. in mind who, who thinks this is true, okay? <laughs> well, it's, it's I've the same never note. heard that. I've been here 38 mm. years. Dean hears everything we say during the commercial. <laughs> he wants to shoot himself. <laughs> Boy, those people are boring. <laughs> Can I listen to another show during the break? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Uh, let's get get back to sports. And we should get a song out of you, Pat. Okay. You got you got anything in mind? Oh, yeah. What do you got over well, there, it's Pat? A, it's a sad day. Ostrid Gilberto passed away. That's right. Do you know who that is? Oh, yeah. she's the... La, 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 la. Yeah. The girl from Impanema singer? Yeah. Oh, Impanema, no. Yeah. I didn't uh -huh. know that. Yeah. Yeah. She's from Philly area. She lived there. That's where she passed away. Oh, oh wow. What did she pass away of? She was uh, 83. Oh, that's a shock. She's yeah. being buried, uh, smothered in cheese, mushrooms, and onions. Uh, as one who dies in Philly. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You, you put they mushrooms it, on it? They call it the uh, Philly cheese funeral. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's you, a like, different, I, you realize that's a different Philadelphia. <laughs> huh? You like mushrooms on your... Are you aware of that? Philly, Philadelphia cheesesteak is not Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Oh, Philadelphia cream cheese. That's New York, yeah. Philadelphia so you realize cream. yours is a different top. <laughs> No, no yes, I was, yes I was, it is. I was. You're I mean, talking about cream cheese. We're talking about sandwich. Yeah. Well, I think you're talking about burying someone in cream cheese. No, no, no. that's not what I said. That's what did you say? Said at all. I said cheese, mushrooms, peppers, God. right? Yeah, and onions. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna bury her in that? And then, and then where does the comedy start? Part? Just spin out of this. I'm enjoying watching you. Why did you know? Yeah. As usual, you know what? It's worse than I thought. You hear less than half of what any of us say. It's way worse than I thought. You just spring upon me the death of this brilliant singer, and I'm supposed to wallow in a comedy joke about burying she her in a cheesesteak sandwich. She was 83, sand. okay? Well, it turned out to be more of a mistake. There she is. You're so taking this? up space. Get out of the way. Comedy show. <laughs> I like this. Oh, it's great! Oh, this is the album. I love this song. I, I always, I always thought <laughs> she farts what's her, what's when her she name? passes. I always thought, that, I always thought that she was from South America. I she assume was. Was. she uh, she Play. lived in Philly though. Play again. Too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Play again. <laughs> Here she comes. Here she is. Here she comes. I like she is. <laughs> That's very funny. When she passes. <laughs> she claims she never earned a dime from that song. Oh, yeah. Oh. I was held at gunpoint to sing. No. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, she was uh, married to a collaborator of Stan Getz's, and he called her just a housewife who happened to be there. And Sang the song. Uh, poor me. Yeah. <laughs> Who was a producer? Spotify? Jeez. I'm a victim. <laughs> well, that's... Um, she went on to put out uh, several albums, and but putting, retired from music in 2000. Nice to know that she put out. <laughs> put out music. Not a total <laughs> waste. <laughs> no such thing as a free dinner, babe. <laughs> <Not> a, <laughs> let's get him in the air. Let's go. Uh, Pat, so let me guess. You have, you have a tribute to the girl from Ipanema. Everybody gets their... What, what was her name again? I'm sorry. Ostrid Gilberto. Os Gilberto. Os Ostrich? Ostrid. Ostrid. I mean, a as Astrid? A-S-T-R-U-D. That's Astrid. Oh, okay. Ostrid. It's not Astrid, Tom. Astrid. It's Astrid. Don't make a comedy joke out of it. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> well, Josh is trying to make a comedy joke out of burying her in Philadelphia cheesecake. <laughs> it's a cheesecake. Cake. Cake. Cheesecake. cheesecake now. Cheesecake. You don't even listen to yourself. <laughs> if I could have we got one. Philly steak and cheese. Just grant me one wish, Jeannie. I want, Dad, I want you, Tom, to be White House press secretary for a day. I, I want it to be forever. And just watch you sling I you, insults. I want you unplug the c computer and join the broadcast. That's oh. all I want. All right, who's hey, right. I think we could do some politics. Hey, you, haircut. What do you want? <laughs> Did you see that uh, the former governor of New Jersey is going to go. run for president? Yeah, Chris Christie. Yeah. It, was, it was kind of interesting. He, did, he announced it yesterday at a uh, 
Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and then he went over to uh, Ben fatty. and Jerry's. He's fat, fat, fat. <laughs> Quite fatty, fat. fatty, fat, fat, fat. fat. Got my, I, I'm voting for any fatty. <laughs> <laughs> we need another fatty in the White House. Here's a suggestion. Don't you think he should wear something other than the white shirt tucked into his nipples? Don't you think he should wear something else? I don't know. Like maybe a sweater or something? Oh, I want a president wearing Tommy Bahama, man. Good God. <laughs> Yesterday. Uh, Whatever you say, President Belly. Did he do it at Ben and Jerry's? <laughs> Well, he should know. have done it at a beach. Yeah, okay. Just the uh, but did, Yesterday on the show, we had a comedian, Jen Colber, was in here, and mm -hmm. she is currently featured in The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. And she was saying that um, th they were joking as they were shooting it. They were calling it the fat episode uh, because there were a couple of other actors of a certain size that were in it. And uh, th this it was kind of a thing, I guess, in Star Wars culture that there are very few heavy people other than Jabba the Hutt, whatever is it, whatever it is. Actors of a certain size. Yes. No, I, I, she, she was uh, commenting on that. I thought it was really fun and interesting. And uh, it's it's true, but she, she does a great job. And it was nice having her in here and uh, chatting. But are, are we ready for the zone, Pat? I, Everybody gets their own girl from Ipanema today. Oh! oh! As a tribute. Oh, nice. To Ostrid... Astrid. Astrid. I call her Astrid. Okay. This better this better pay off in a big time joke. You mispronouncing her name. Go ahead. Tom has called Josh Arnold fat again. The <laughs> guy from the same city is Kathleen Madigan. And when Josh passes a Taco Bell, he goes, "Wait, Josh has never passed a Taco oh. Bell." Oh. See, wow. The first <laughs> How did I get thrown into this? <laughs> It's your show. What do you mean? I it hate sounds the like show today. Say. <laughs> so, do you have one for Christy? Yeah, I have one for Christy. Hers isn't uh, as fully polished yet. Oh, okay. Well, have somewhere. you polished any of the other ones? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll do one of the ones you've got ready to go. Okay, one for Chick. Here we go. Oh. Tall and bearded, witty and handsome. Chick made me write this while I was held for ransom. <laughs> and when he does sports, we chuckle and snort and go, bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Big party! Big party. Yeah, you gotta get big party in there. Let me ask you this. Oh. Does that happen during sports? Yeah. Uh, now, um, if you'd been listening to the big party uh, with your Raycon earbuds on, Boy, that was just, that sounds like a pretty good party to me. Oh yeah, let's face it. Uh, you know how much uh, how much coffee is like ten bucks a coffee. You gotta watch your pennies nowadays, Tom, and that's where Raycon wireless earbuds come in. Raycon's mission to prove that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound and all those essential smart tech listening features we've come to know and love. With Raycon, you can get a pair and a spare and still pay less than you would with some of those other big name tech brands out there. Raycon knows that in uh, the this time, this day and age, every purchase needs to be almost perfect. They also offer buy now, pay later options, easy and free lemon squeezy return guarantee and free domestic shipping and flat fee international shipping. And of course, Raycons have over 50,000 five-star reviews. And I haven't even talked about eight hours of play, playback time with your Raycons, uh, crystal clear call quality and water and sweat resistance. So you could have heard a chick say crystal clear uh, yeah, and it would have sounded really I good. said the... Uh, <laughs> Raycon.com slash Tom today. Get 15% off your Raycon order. Go ahead. Listen to them. Go ahead. You'll be sold. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom. 15% off your Raycon purchase. That's buyraycon.com. Slash Tom. And again, I uh, lost the um, the cord to recharge my Raycon. I know so that's I hard to, to believe. Well, he wouldn't be organized. Uh, and I uh, had to use the other ones. Ugh. Finally got my new cord in the mail. And uh, ta-da. Spent the whole weekend with my Raycon earbuds. They're fantastic. And they're half the price. I highly recommend them. We get love letters about the Raycons. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up in the news, we've got catfish. We've got uh, treadmills uh, running amok. Room service requests that are just unbelievably weird. Golf and tennis in uh, sports, uh, including in tennis. Pissy Pissy. He's, uh, he played yesterday. He pissy, did not pissy. Pissy, pissy Pissy. I remember him. Played well. He did not play well yesterday. Aaron Judge. He's going to be out for a while. He's just tired. And... Uh, um, we have this news in the world of coffee. That's right. The oh. ro Rolling Stones in the world of coffee, of all things, coming up. And Bob is going to be our special guest today. Look forward to seeing Bob. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 8 8 
like I'm watching the dating game. That's right. Mm -hmm. And here they are. From Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> he's an inveterate masturbator. <laughs> what? He's, uh, <laughs> he's trying to grow a beard and thinking of a radio name. It's oh, it's Jock Michaels. Michaels. <laughs> yeah. Good, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Okay. Uh, wasn't this for okay. T-Berry gum or something? Didn't they use uh, that? No. Uh, the T-Berry have... shuffle. Right? Now, was that uh, oh. was that indeed the dating game or uh, was, was that the newlywed the game? Uh, the lonely, no, the lonely it boys. It sounded no, like one of the them. I don't game? know. There. Is this it? Yeah, this is the dating game. And here yeah. they are. Yep. He's an obsessive compulsive <laughs> from <laughs> Midwestern <laughs> United States. <laughs> He likes collecting things and telling people what to do. Including Ladies and gentlemen, they love shiny objects. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just now... He's a member of the Black Panther Party. <laughs> and, I didn't, I didn't expect that one coming. <laughs> he didn't. And a confirmed bachelor. Uh, All right, now, uh, here they He's fathered nine children. Uh, Ladies no. and gentlemen, <laughs> big round of applause for Tom Griswold. <laughs> Or you come around the, the partition. Okay. Now, this we is where you go. A, bachelor number one. one uh, hey, if I if no, I was bachelorette greasy, number one. If I were a bush, <laughs> if I drop some food on the floor, how many seconds before you <laughs> eat it? <laughs> <laughs> We have uh, a punk version of the way I am. Why can't you do it? We don't have electric guitars. Oh, I see. We can um, we can imagine. I have to scream, though. Should I back off the mic a little look bit? Look at the engineers yeah, and ask them. Give it a shot. Yeah, okay. Ask, ask they the they look like they're the positive. So this is going to be an acoustic version of the punk version of the way I am. <laughs> All right. This is All new. right. You scream with me, though, I'll so I don't look an idiot. All right. Okay. Scream All right. By myself. Go ahead, engineers. It's Shepard's up to you. not going to like this. <laughs> I'll back off the mic a little bit. You have to imagine this is an electric guitar, okay? I've, I've got and it. If you come to the show tonight, you'll see us headbanging. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Bravo. Well, that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's our, that's oh, our they big, love it. They love it. Yeah. That's our big. That's our big contribution to the culinary world. I was not I had aware no idea. of that. That's, that's right. We like we like an open pit of fire. That's <laughs> because we can get our drums out and have like a little drum circle <laughs> and conjure up the goddess while we're making the you steak. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. They don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, my God. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. most unfair thing about life is the way it ends, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With a death. What's that, a bonus? <laughs> no. Life is tough. It should be reversed. You die first. Get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you live in an old age home. You get kicked out when you're too young. You get a gold watch. You go to work. 
You work for 40 years till you're young enough to enjoy your retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Go to college, you do drugs, alcohol, you party, you get ready for high school. <laughs> Go to school, you become a kid, you play, you have no responsibilities, become a little baby. Go back into the womb, spend your last nine months floating. Uh, you finish off as a gleam in somebody's eye. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> Bravo. 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 That's perfect. Bob and Tom. They put the F in professional. Joining us in the studio, comedian Ed Yeager. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Ed. Ed. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. I'm glad football season's almost here. I love football. I do, too. I was, uh, sitting, I was in a hotel room. <laughs> and I just I was watching a football game and I I opened the drawer I pull out the Bible I turned I I turned to John three sixteen mm -hmm. and it actually says sitteth thee in the end zone with a large sign. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on you realize it's not your girlfriend it's just a woman on a bus. So <laughs> that's how you know you're too high. There was this bass player and he was uh, sitting in a in a bar and just getting really really drunk. He was, sure. he was mad at the world yeah he had been fired from his uh, latest job mad at everyone just angry drinking so he leaves the bar he's very very drunk he's walking down the street and across the street is a nun walking the other direction mm -hmm. well basically player runs across the street knocks her down and just starts kicking her and hitting her oh and going gosh. crazy. A drunk bass player. A drunk bass player. <laughs> mm. And he looks down and says, you're not so tough now, are you, Batman? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we get mail. <laughs> That's it for our show. Based on... Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. I'll give you details. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom here, Show. Okay. And I was interrupting a lot. <laughs> got things I got to do over here. Maybe radio isn't for you. <laughs> you ever think about that? <laughs> Christy oh. Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. There's Ace Cosby. Big party. There's... Oh. In a, in a big party, not, not big, big posse. Not big posse. Party. Did you he say, no, I heard party. Yeah. Yeah. I heard, I heard Tom posse. came here anyway, you know that. Uh, there's <laughs> Willie Griswold. Hey, man. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. You're not your big party. Okay. Isn't that your new nickname? Party. You've already abandoned it? Big party. Big party's here That's with me. sports. That's right. Oh, All right. no. All right, it's, big party. It's already dead. It's <laughs> <laughs> the Ready? Uh, not taking any questions during any part of the sportscast. If Why you guys not? have questions, ask each other or look it up on the internet. Now, remember, leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Above everything else, shut up and leave me alone. Okay. Okay. The PGA Tour abruptly, shockingly, dropped their expensive fight with Saudi Arabia's Live Golf venture yesterday. And instead, they announced a stunning merger that creates a global operation featuring the world's top golfers backed by the Saudis' massive wealth. As part of the deal, merging the PGA Tour and European Tour with Saudi golf interests, the sides immediately are dropping all lawsuits, including... The uh, one involving uh, Live Golf and the PGA. There you go, Tom. This was quite the shock. It caught everybody off guard, including PGA players who uh, read about it on Twitter, they said. They Would were very upset. Shockwaves. Yeah, uh, shockwaves. It, it sense, shockwaves yeah. across the sports world. So many shockwaves. Nobody could believe yeah. it. Very surprised. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. Yes, we will. <laughs> I'm not going to comment. <laughs> see what happens. What well, would you comment if you could? No, I'm not going to. Doesn't affect me. I don't care. Is that right? Yeah. I understand three of the journalists covering the story were killed and put in suitcases. I thought you were going to call them. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me for bringing that up. That's some Somebody from the NBA commented, this is disgusting and we're against it. They were wearing a Chinese shirt, of course. But, uh, Chinese What's a Chinese shirt? shirt? <laughs> I meant to say, I meant to say Chinese flag shirt. <laughs> a Chinese shirt is what we all have on right yeah. now. <laughs> right. Hey, this is from Bangladesh. Okay, give me a break. I have a question. What is real Chinese food? No, I have a question. I've had it. You guys have like actual, honest yeah, gosh, I mean, Chinese food. It's, yes. It's oh, now, oh, now you mean Korean food or Chinese? It was a legit, like gourmet Chinese food restaurant. I was in Korea at the time. Was there yes. any meat in it? Well, how do we know? Yeah. This? How do you know it was legit Chinese? Uh, I was 
Uh, you know what? I was told, and I take I take them for their word. <laughs> yeah, chick I had. Uh huh. In San Francisco, the restaurant was actually called China. Yeah, there's some great. <laughs> there, you can get some like really great. I mean, I didn't recognize anything on the seemingly menu. authentic yeah. Chinese food in San Francisco as well. There was a place out in Boulder, and they had this dish called CPR, chicken, potatoes, and rice. Oh. And I guess that's like a really traditional Chinese no staple. It's mm, delicious. Awesome. Delicious. Yes. Insanely yeah. good. Really good. Now, the restaurants in San Francisco, though, the poo-poo platter is on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fecal yes, issues. Yes. Is, uh, they are. We've they got are fecality. Liberal. Uh, liberal. Right. Okay. Liberal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> coming up... Uh, by the way, we have uh, unusual bachelor party news. <laughs> bachelor party. Remember that song from the film? A great no. movie. Uh. It is a great movie. <laughs> it's so funny. I've never seen that movie. I love it. Really? Tom Hanks, Adrian Zemed. Very Donny Katane. With Donnie a guy Katane. like Adrian Zemed, how the, could it not be anything but award guy? winning? Hey, he saved Grease too, pal. Yeah. Damn right he did. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? So watch you this. and Sophie are the only two people that ever watched Grease too. I think. Oh, I saw it, but I won't ever watch it again. You okay. know, it's not... No. I, I know it has its uh, fans out there, but... Ace, no. do you like Grease too? I've never seen it. Huh. Have is you seen Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo? Uh, no. <laughs> I have. How about Can't Stop the Music with the Village People and... Uh, I have seen that. And Bruce Jenner. Amazing movie. Wonderful. I wouldn't say that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what about Step Up 2, The Streets? Have you seen that, Ace? No. <laughs> so far, Step Up 2? I haven't seen any of them, so... <laughs> How about The Warriors? The Warriors. Warriors. Come out and play. play. Come out and play. I love Warriors. That's that. scary. I heard, I heard about that movie for years, and then I finally just saw it on Light Night TV one night. And, oh, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. Is that the, about the gang? Yeah, these gangs, yeah. these rival gangs. The Is one it, gang has to make it through all these other gangs' territory. Michael Pere and yes. some uh, some ethnic-looking lady. Uh, <laughs> good for you. Good for you. Men fascinate me. Debbie, that you know so much about Debbie. movies. That's a great movie. So, <laughs> of all those movies we listed, watch The Warriors, Tom. Well, yeah. th th you don't. Now, no. Um, no. Uh, I have a nice letter here. Saying uh, someone, uh, this is from uh, Steve. Uh oh. Hey, Steve. Oh, uh, boy, I should have read it first. Uh, but, uh, who knows the most about geography around here? Check out. Okay. <laughs> what? I thought Big Party knew the party. Hey, Big Party. Yeah, yeah. Go How ahead. do you pronounce this uh, town in Alabama? Mm -hmm. G U N T E R S V I L L E. How are we? How are we supposed to? <laughs> yeah. That was so fast. Yeah. Gun 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 Guntersville. Guntersville. Gun Guntersville. Guntersville. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's it's vagina it's a, town. Tom, what do you want? Oh, what you want? That's what you want. You know what you want to say. <laughs> Welcome to Pussy Town. <laughs> he wants you to say Gunther. We're going to party. It's almost good. Uh, Guntersville, Alabama. Steve writes, hey. Uh, I was listening to the show late. Uh, please uh, tell Tom I feel very connected with him as I commute to meetings every morning. And I go down to the office in an Otis elevator. Oh, how about that? Jeez. Oh, <laughs> now, um... Otis, my man. <laughs> oh, a nice callback. Do you know what that's from, Christy? The Otis, Blue my man. Blues Brothers? Mm -hmm. uh, big, uh, close. Close. big party worked at Otis. Damn right he did. Yeah, he did. It's Made it's, elevator. Yeah, Andy uh, Otis, my man. Otis, my man, is from Animal House. Yeah, they, okay, they yeah. Go, they under awful the circumstances, <laughs> pick up a young lady and... Didn't, Otis does not recognize him. Didn't Andy Griffith have an Otis? Wasn't he the drunk? Yeah, of course, the town drunk was Otis, but Otis okay. is an elevator company. Yes. Do you have a song about that elevator story? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> that was a great story last week. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the elevator story? Are you just free thinking today? Oh, the man, yeah, the man was uh, the guy hurt. was cut in half in an elevator. Yeah, that was a hurt. great story. I thought you had a tune about that. Yeah, I did. I don't, don't think it went over that well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's no reason for us not to well, play. Well, that's not anything well, that you should be judging, okay? All of them go over fine. <laughs> You're like a weirdo. When I'm not it comes looking to... for fine. That was so now, close to being back. <laughs> the story, uh, I'll, I'll remind you, big party. I think the fine is there the was the weird elevator story. in Germany oh, that hope for. Yeah, it's, works kind of like a Ferris wheel with it, open. It's an old fashioned elevator. Very old fashioned. They're called uh, Potter Noster elevators, yes. and they, they are in continuous motion. Potter and as the elevator reaches your floor, you're supposed to hop on. Or hop off. But yes. it just keeps moving. Mm hmm. There's um, no door. Yeah, they're very, uh, very dangerous, and uh, they, there aren't very many of them left, apparently, in Germany. This was in a building with an ophthalmological clinic and a physiotherapy center, so you want to have something like this where people can barely see or move. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy somehow got caught, you know, between the... Oh, Lures, yeah. You know, and was... Uh, <laughs> <yikes>. <laughs> That's rough. Easy, easy day if you're the coroner.
Mm. What killed this guy? Well, probably <laughs> sawing him in half, yeah. I'm guessing. Uh, but, Pat, you have a tribute to this thing? This story? Okay, we'll give it a try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He was really not going to. I did. Elevator. Yeah. <laughs> Cut a guy in half. <laughs> Tom wants a song, but it won't get a laugh. Living in Berlin, that's where the story begins. It was an old-fashioned jump on, jump off. Not an Otis, not an Otis. Isn't that the way they say it goes? Up and down, then splat. Give me a lawyer and we will sue them. I will call a guy I got cut in two. Poor dead German. <laughs> Didn't survive the blows. He got cut in half. It was a bloodbath caught in the machinery. Oh, imagine how his family feels. <laughs> the elevator. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke. <laughs> what you gonna do, man? I sang it. <laughs> How's that taste? I think my initial assessment was dead on. <laughs> hey, big big party says thumbs up. Thumbs thank up. You, thank you, big party. <laughs> it was, was it fine this time? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, at the end of the song, you just you get serious and you abandon the rhymes and you just give up. Yeah, it's, it's all awesome. the chords. It's just the yeah, here, here, take it. Here's, your, here's the brand name. <laughs> I'm out. Here's your GD song. You text me about that. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Yeah. So, you like that? Needs some polishing, certainly. <laughs> Uh, when we come back in sports, what have you got over there? Oakland A's might be, uh, stay Oakland. They don't, uh, and they might not have any this place to play. weird. It's really okay. weird. And I know we're not allowed to ask questions. They yeah. get, it get, <laughs> got caught up in legislation. That's the uh, explanation. Plus, uh, we have... Um, well, I'm uh, going to read it slow. Rolling Stones time. in the news. Bra sizes in the news. Coming up, Bob's going to be our special guest. Look forward to seeing Bob. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel. So we're getting back to your hobbies, James. You're yes. a bowler. Thank yes. You. You've got that going for you. <laughs> yes, sir. Golf, uh, skydiving, scuba diving, I went skydiving. skiing. You went skydiving? Uh, I went How'd that go? Yes, I did. Well, was it a tandem jump or did it you? It was a tandem jump. Yeah, scared mm -hmm. me. I'm big. Mm -hmm. you know, I was going to say, I, I don't scared wanna... you. Who were you with? I was going to say, the other dude. <laughs> I was strapped to the guy. What do, what, do you, what do you weigh in at? Do you mind if I ask? Uh, then I was about 280, I guess. I'm mm -hmm. probably 295 now. Oh, yeah. my. Now, is the person, when you do the tandem, I'm, is the person with the shoot? on somebody else. Is the person with the shoot in back of you? He's behind you. You don't have to do anything. You're basically like luggage. You're looking Screen. at, uh, well, you're I'm just like, watching I... the ground come at you while yeah. the guy behind you has, to has the, the shoot and does all the work. And you've never been so glad to have a man strapped to your behind. Mm -hmm. Ever. You will never. Uh -huh. and, and you know, they call it a sport too. Well, sure. The it's whole very time difficult. They're like, did you like the sports kind of, and I was like, falling is not a sport. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was, it's my grandmother land. would win a medal. <laughs> <laughs> the Silver Hip Award goes to. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you want to, actually, if you want to make a sport, you should just throw the parachute out of the plane and then make the guy jump and put it on Ooh. before he hits the ground. Oh, I like that. Now, for competition, sport. competition, yeah. throw one parachute out, three or four guys jump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, there you go. On, he won. So did you glide in, James? We, we, gl we glided in. And, and, and was, on, the, on the tape. Did you, did, you, did you fall or did you land stand? At the very up? last minute, he said, stand up, and I was already going down and there wasn't no, nice. mm -hmm. no but my ears did not pop my you know the really thing with the ears yeah so oh. when i hit the ground immediately i was like uh, uh he, he was like how do you like it and i'm like they were good i enjoyed it very much because <laughs> i could not <laughs> hear myself hear. couldn't hear yeah. well, that's, that's because see if, if it were me i i would be tightening every orifice in my body <laughs> yes to prevent <laughs> leakage uh, including my ears plus there's a dude behind you yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that part stayed that my ears did not pop until maybe the next day and i had to sing that night, I was doing a play called uh, Smoke on the Mountain. You're a you, singer? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, where you, you sing gospel music. It's a gospel music play. You so know, that smoke night, was, on the mountain, <laughs> fire in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's a great cool. play. Yeah. So I'm trying to sing. I'm like, the made thing great that we <laughs> well, That's uh, <laughs> unfortunate. I want to apologize to anyone who knows that might have well, a Well, I know if you're deaf, you automatically talk that way, even though you can speak. <laughs> that's and what it sounds clearly, like when you yeah. talk. Yeah. I mean, it's it's nerve-wracking. And the more scared, you've already done it, the more scared of it you are, the better you get out, the more you get out of it. You know, it is really like that facing your fear and all that stuff. And when you're standing in the doorway of that plane, it's yeah, it's every cell in your body screams, 
You better hold on to something. <laughs> I mean, it's overwhelming. Hello there, it's Ed from Ed Septic and Sewage. I'm here at this poor SOB's house. He got quoted $20,000 for a new system. I'm doing that same system for him, $500. I know what you're thinking. Ed, how can you do it so cheap? Well, first of all, this machine, stolen. That saves me a ton of money. Secondly, I'm not licensed or bonded. That saves me tens of thousands of dollars a year. So if you need a cheap septic, call me, Ed, Ed Septic. But thank you, Hectic. Call Ed Septic at the number below. Med Septic. God. You can hear the show here in the morning, and then because you're a Bob and Tom VIP, you'll get the podcast of the entire show, a 12-month library of podcasts, hundreds of Bob and Tom comedy tapes, and a 60-day video archive of the show. Bob and Tom VIP. You have to get it. It's state law. Bob and Tom. Well, meaning, but... Yeah, they're, they're all messed up. More than slightly confused. The minivan hearse thing? Have you seen this? No. Was that for dead soccer moms? I don't know. Oh. The funeral homes that have the minivans that they... That's very funny. <laughs> oh, that's have you sad. Seen the minivans that they have put those, you know, the fancy scroll work thing they put oh, on the sides. God. Yes, I'm not making this up. And they're like the big town and country vans. Well, I didn't want to die before, but now I really don't want to. <laughs> it's really God, disturbing. It's, I said this discussion yesterday with one of my sons. You're going to be dead, honey. You won't know. I know, but the whole minivan thing, I... The bumper stickers on that'll be horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. my orphan child is an honor student. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully done. Uh -huh. Scott Dunn, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom, 24 7, 24 7, 24 With us in the studio, comedian uh, Kostaki Economopoulos. Now, we talked a little bit about your love life. What's happening with it again? You're... Oh, I've got a girlfriend. She's great. Mm -hmm. We're knocking around and having a good time. And So you have no children. Right? I have no children. Mm -hmm. Here's here's the first sign of me getting old, all right? Here's the first sign of me as an old guy. I give my girlfriend a really good back massage, like 40 minutes. Then it's my turn. I lay down. She just barely starts to rub my back. This is true. And she reaches down and, <laughs> and says, are you sure you want me to rub your back? And I said, yes. <laughs> like, <"What?" laughs> True enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> what am I, 100? A thought from Paul Gilmartin. Down the elevator shaft they plunged, hurtling towards their death. Their faces drawn by Edvard Munch. They smelled the devil's breath. <laughs> Your tongue, she said at number three. Let me see its size. He grinned and licked his forehead. She buckled at the thighs. <laughs> the impact satisfied them both. Police were left some clues. A smiling woman all alone in a stranger's pair of shoes. <laughs> Talk to our guest, Tom Foss. Tom, tell us about your life. You uh, married, single, what's going on? Married, very happily married. I got a friend going through a midlife crisis. You know anyone like that? Oh, yeah. And he's asking me what he should do. Oh, yeah. And I keep telling him cheating is like growing pot. <laughs> <laughs> like growing pot? You can do it and get away with it, but you can't ever, ever tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> ever. 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 Anybody. Hi, this is Bob and Tom 24-7. My name is Jim Gaffigan. I have to go and, well, I just had a... <gasps> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Josh Arnold's here. Chick. Who? <laughs> Big party. Hey! And I have an, I have an email uh, regarding that. There's Ace Cosby. BP. There's <laughs> Willie Griswold. El Fiesta Grande. I'm uh, Chick McGee, and here's <laughs> Tom Griswold. We just had the story about the uh, elevator that sliced a guy in half in Berlin. Uh -huh. mm. uh, Barry uh, writes from Germany. 
Let's hear it for my homeland. <laughs> Elevators that saw you in half and blimps that explode. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> is that a dirigible, technically? I forget. Yeah. Also, I forget. a lot of history in between there. Yeah. yeah. Um, is, that, is that a dirigible, the one that uh, the Hindenburg? I, I mean, I mean, look, it's, an, it's a blimp to me. Okay. It's a, a dirigible. You'll always be a blimp to me. <laughs> I love that song. Dirigible. Uh, okay. Um, well, now we return to the sports page with Big Party. Is that right? Uh -huh. Big Party, you want to hear the story from Dr. V? Go, Daddy. His name is Dr. V. I don't know if he's a V doctor, but oh, he vagina is Dr. doctor. V. Okay. Says he went to the, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. All it's right. a very well written email, but he's, uh, he went to his first Indy 500. All right. He's sitting there in the bleachers. Right. There's a big commotion. Boom, bam, pow. All of a sudden, he sees that a man has fallen from the top of the bleachers and is just rolling down to the bottom. Oh, no. And uh, he finally, when the guy gets to the bottom, he, he stands up, and he's still holding both of his beers. Whoa! Bloody face, scratched elbows, and the guy looks at the crowd and yells, Big party! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And Amazing. That, that was me. I was there. All right. <laughs> he saw you in the crowd and he... Anybody believe me? No. Okay. Uh, well, big party, what else is going on in sports? Novak Djokovic has come back after dropping a set for the first time in the tournament to beat... Uh, where are you on tournament, Tom? Is it tournament or tournament? Like they say on the East Coast, tournament. Kind of a tur. As tur, a tur. <laughs> Could be, turd. Kind of Could be turd. Could be turd. Does or anybody go tower nament? Tower nament really hit tower those vowels in there? No. Tournament. Tournament. What would a turdament be? Oh. Tournament. I <laughs> suppose some kind of uh, a mint breath that, thing yeah. for <laughs> those that are rim. <laughs> <laughs> if they're rim, rim happy. Rim liquors. <laughs> Doc, I'm, I'm rim, rim happy. Rim liquors. <laughs> Hi, I'm Phil Rimlicker for, for tournaments. <laughs> Novak Djokovic came back after dropping a set for the first time. He did beat 11th seed Karen Kochnanoff. Kochnanoff? Uh, sometimes I want fingers, too. I don't know. What's the joke here? <laughs> Kochnanoff? This is a guy with the name Karen. I'll start with some fingers. Come on. Uh, what guy's named Karen? Come on! Yeah. Uh, let's see. Roger Federer holds the men's record. 46 appearances in the final four of a major. Uh, also, uh, number one, Carlos Alcaraz overwhelms Stefanos Pissy Pissy. <laughs> okay, here's the... Here, write this down, Einstein. Uh, T-S-I... T-S-I... P-A-S... Tissy Tissy Poss. Tissy Tissy Poss, or is yeah. it Pissy Pissy Poss? Is this one name, or is this it's, the whole That's his tissy last pass. name. Uh, all all tissy, of tissy it. Tissy Poss. Tissy Tissy Poss. T S I T S I P A S. <laughs> tsitsi Pa. Pissy Pissy Probably, pass. yeah. Like like the Tsitsi fly. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, and our uh, Arina, Arena, Sabalenka, and Carolina mm. Mun Munch. Carolina Munch. Munch. <laughs> <laughs> Both Reese's semi-final. What is it? Valina Munch? What was it? Again? Go get him, Munch! <laughs> hey, Munch! Wasn't that Belzer's name in uh, yeah. Munch? Mm -hmm. Detective Munch? Aaron Judge headed to the injured list for the second time this season. There go the judge. Uh, because of his uh, grotesque size, he can only be looked at at a uh, veterinarian <laughs> clinic. Oh, a horse he's as big as a horse. <laughs> he's a large, large man. He hurt his right toe, Tom, making a catch. Oh, oh we. He hurt it. I hurt my toe. <laughs> at Dodger Stadium, the reigning MVP missed his second consecutive game Tuesday night. He met with uh, team physician Dr. Christopher Ahmad and underwent testing, uh, basic IQ tests, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. light and dark colors, mm -hmm. uh, and it also showed a bruise on a sprained ligament in his big toe, uh -huh. which is once again a massive toe. Yankees an uh, manager Aaron Boone, who killed a bear when he was three, said following his team's 3-2 <laughs> loss to the White Sox, uh, uh, hopefully, Aaron will be back with us in a, in a couple weeks. Uh, the slugger received a platelet-rich plasma injection. Ooh. 
mm. from children. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. You want to get the youthful. Yeah. <laughs> the blood of the young. <laughs> Doctor, what? You need the blood of you the need, young. You need the blood, no, uh, the blood to, of the to, young. To break away briefly uh, from sports. What? Uh, uh, <laughs> I was not aware of this until Christy told me that uh, Astrid Gilberto, the singer from the famous song The Girl from Ipanema, has died uh -huh. at the age of 83. She had a bunch of hits. I, I was not, I never knew her name. I just knew it was It was the Stan Getz band, right? Right. Mm -hmm. You just um, knew Stan Getz. You really don't. No, yet. I didn't. I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not know Astrid. Uh, uh, but uh, th this is the song, in case you're. Big hit. This was what Paul was playing in the German elevator when that guy was cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose the guy was cut in half because he was looking at his cell phone. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, I, 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 I bet the guy got in the elevator was not paying attention. Do you think during her funeral people will go, ah, she goes by? <laughs> <laughs> well, that does. That's not what happens. I'll play it again, Tom. <laughs> now, uh, Pat, you have uh, you said you have uh, taken the song and done a version for everyone in the room here. Mm -hmm. I have Christie's done, I think. Okay, okay. Well, let's, let's hear Christie's version. Go. go ahead. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Short and tan, and we've corrupted her. Every morning we've interrupted her, and when she talks, each time she talks, we go. Hey! Hey, what about this? Huh? Tell us about boobs. Camping. Camping. Camping and camping. said that word wrong. Camping and candid. And then Tom goes, <laughs> next. <laughs> Do you know we have you saying that, Tom? What? Next. Oh, candy. <laughs> so, then, for instance, maybe I'll be doing a sports story and you'll say, next. <laughs> No. That's not soul crushing. Okay. She also sang. Uh, <laughs> can you find the shadow of your smile? I bet she does a oh, oh, great oh, version. God, she does that, that song. The shadow of your, your smile. smile and fly me to the moon. I bet she kills it on that. Are you just guessing, or are you looking at one of her albums? I'm looking at one of her albums. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Ipanema? It's in Brazil. Um, I assume it's in Brazil. Brazil? Isn't that like no, a no, Brazilian? Jersey, uh, Jersey Shore. Oh, that's where it is. No. Or Spain? No. Ipanema, Westwood. All some salt, some salt water taffy. <laughs> Trenton. <laughs> Ipanema. It's near to just south of Trenton. <laughs> <laughs> Can you find the other songs I, other than that I, one? I, I, well, why, if you give me a little moment, I could. <laughs> I, I just learned about this in the last few minutes. Let's hurry. Next. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay. It's in Rio de Janeiro. Ms. In Gilberto Panana recorded Beach. the song. She was married to Juan Gilberto, the Brazilian singer and guitarist, often referred to as the father of the bossa nova. Oh. Yeah, he was a collaborator of Stan Getz's back uh, in the, the day. Oh, okay. Does that make her the mother of the bossa nova? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And uh, they recorded a joint album with Stan Getz, who had already released three albums that mixed jazz with samba and bossa nova. Mm -hmm. Isn't a joint album what you separate the seeds and stems from? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the old yeah those. Those are old days now. <laughs> um, I think uh, Bossa Nova gets a raw deal. Everybody blames it. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they sure do. And really, it's uh, you should blame it on the, the rain. Mm -hmm. Aren't we having fun? <laughs> I blame it on the alcohol. Not the Bossa Nova's fault. Well, that's a any good. other song would be fine <laughs> I, right now. I'm trying to find her <laughs> catalog. Yeah, give me a second here. Hmm. I can't even if spell. If only there was a machine you could go and put her Just name in. Just a second. And Calm down. I did a quick Google. She has a version of Fly Me to the Moon, yeah. it looks yeah. like. Uh -huh. Yeah. A song called The Gentle Rain. Uh, now, oh. Willie, are you just making those <laughs> up? No, my or friend. Do you, are you looking at her album? I'm using my little Google bot over here. I just Googled Astrid Gilberto song. Okay, here we go. Here's Do you have an a Astrid blocked on your. Uh, I have. A, I found Astrid on the thing. Here we go. 
this is music. Seventh floor lingerie. I feel like I'm in a Matt Helm movie. Right? No, this is music <laughs> to not wake the baby. It's Astrid. This is a nice cocktail music. It sounds like cocktail party. movie to Big assault party. your secretary to. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Hey, you Josh, want, you want the raise It's assault not? your assistant now, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's finally <laughs> seen me. Here it is. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I don't know what song this is. This, 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 I've heard this a million. You have? Yeah. In my nightmares. <laughs> the summer samba? <laughs> this is Buffalo Bill sewing a skin yeah. dress right now. Yeah, you're right, though. This is, yeah, this is. You want that race? Mad, mad Men oh, assault yeah. the secretary. Wait, good part. This is Jack Lemon clumsily and awkwardly talking to Leslie Parrish. <laughs> you can have the apartment. Uh, uh, you have the apartment. Very good. I, 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 I'm not into this really. But, uh. Well, from back in the 60s, uh, but uh, she's gone. Sorry to hear that. Um, uh, there is a version of Fly Me to the Moon when we come back. We'll oh, really? Uh, yeah. You found it finally. Yes. <laughs> Took uh, you 20 minutes. What's the matter? Your computer broken over there? I have been talking. I mean, Frank nailed that. It's going to be, it's hard to cover that one. Well, I mean, oh, to, yeah. Can we get them both together? Maybe Astrid and... I uh, bet they were together at some point. They yeah. got together. Okay. <laughs> Show me your Ipanema, baby. That's <laughs> 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 Telly Savalas. <laughs> Strap that thing on and get behind blue eyes. <laughs> gonna get oh, he likes that. Oh, he likes Peg. I like that. Don't tell no one. <laughs> no. Jelly, she's thinking about telling. Show I him. used to make Bishop do this. <laughs> let's do it my <laughs> baby. Let's do it my way. <laughs> Start spreading my cheeks. <laughs> You're oh, Raymond boy. today. An well, we knew we're <laughs> each gonna need somebody to start our cars <laughs> <laughs> right now. Uh, coming up on the show, we've got some fun stuff today. Uh, we've got uh, room service uh, in the news. We have uh, Bob is going to stop by. Look forward to talking to Bob. Well, if he's listening, he might turn. <laughs> <laughs> and I would not blame him. we got a couple of world records, but right now. I want to remind you, Father's Day is just around the corner. It's time to get it right for dads this time. And the only way to do that, of course, is with Omaha Steaks. That's right. Perfectly aged, always tender, guaranteed delicious. Listen to this. The Father's Day experts at Omaha Steaks have made it easy to put a smile on the big guy's face with hand-selected packages. Head over to omahasteaks.com. Use promo code BTS at checkout. Get $30 off your qualifying order. Packages may include fork tender. Tender bacon wrapped filet mignon, air chilled boneless chicken breasts, ultra juicy burgers, jumbo franks, so many more favorites. You've heard us talk about the jumbo franks before. We can't say enough about them. They are quite simply the greatest hot dogs you'll ever have. Whether he's your father, father in law, or father figure, he's the guy who was always ready to step up when you needed him most. Why not show him the love this Father's Day with the only gift that's as unforgettable as he, the mouth-watering perfection of Omaha Steaks. Don't wait. Father's Day right around the corner. My gosh, uh, maybe a week or week and a half. I can look it up real quick. What do we got, seven days? It's the 18th. It's the 18th. Wait go to, Sunday. Go to omahasteaks.com. <laughs> Use code BTS at checkout. Get 30 bucks off an unforgettable gift guaranteed to make Dad's Day. Because if there's one thing we know, it's that Dad's one steak. That's omahasteaks.com. Code BTS at checkout. Man. Jack Lemon from the apartment can't be wrong. That's <laughs> well, thank you very much. Uh, also, coming up, a sex toy burglar. Oh, that's a weird thing. That's yeah. specific. Yeah, yeah. 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 you'll wait till you. Oh, did he take anything? <laughs> <laughs> that's even weirder. <laughs> and that's only one of the two things he has. Yeah. <laughs> the other one, never mind. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, guy, it's Kid Tarmac. Roll. Which is kind of like a pity, but it looks like it's about twice it's as very big. very similar, but twice as big. You like it? Is it good? Yeah. Okay, now, Not bad. I want to see if Chick can tell the difference. I'm We're doing a blind oh, taste okay. test. Tom's going to come over here and... Okay, Chick, you have a blindfold on your head. 
I do. Mm -hmm. It's not over my eyes yet, though. No, you, you're the karate uh, kid right now. Oh. Yeah, I, what? what I'm doing. Can you, uh, Chick, can you stand up and put your arms out and one leg up? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you talk into a mic? Because mm -hmm. I was showing the camera oh, crew. Oh, okay. okay. There we are. Is this on? That one's on. That's on. <laughs> It won't, it won't seem to want to stay in the upright position here. Um, because you're a boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have your, these have been marked. The one is you? the nut roll and one is the payday. All right. And Chick has been blindfolded. Hi, how are you? Okay. Uh, here, Chris. See if we can tell the difference between. Um, uh, <laughs> we have uh, the one. I'm going to get one of these. Down. Can I hold it? Uh, Not uh, yet. It's, can it's, I hold it by at, the nut? At random. At random. Okay. Now, uh, to open your mouth. No, because you're going to do something. No, I'm, I'm going to pull I want to hold it. No, oh. you're not putting anything in my mouth I can't hold. No, that is a, that's a payday chick. Trust me on that. It's this I mean, uh, it's one of the <laughs> no, nut it's, rolls okay. is what I should say. Well, okay, if, when I, I don't, that made a queer, that I'm going to start over now. <laughs> so you're not going to know. I'm going to spin this around. Yeah. He's and, looking. Uh, All right. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's I'm, going on? I can't see anything. Just, okay. Oh, no. Are you guys messing with me? No. Is he putting his penis on my head again? No, he's not. Nothing, are you sure? Nothing of the sort. All right. Okay. <laughs> Try that one. What's so funny? What did I do? <laughs> what happened? No, seriously. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. I want to know if you can tell the difference between the payday and the Pearsons. Okay, which one is this? Just take it. Put in your. Put your hand out. Go Just here. put your hand out and take oh, it now. Ah, what is it? it what yeah, is it? It's either. It's either a Pearsons nut roll or a payday. Which one? It smells like a payday. Well, take a bite what? of it. You... <laughs> oh yeah, that might have a little cheese on it. <laughs> which one do you think that is? Did you rub this on your crotch? <laughs> no. Even more. He put it in his pants. <laughs> it tastes familiar. <laughs> Which one do you think that is? I don't know. I don't have anything to compare it to. Okay. okay well, well now, now take that one. Here's the second one. I didn't really care for it, though. You didn't like that one? Take the second one. I did take the second one. I'm still chewing the first one. <laughs> do you want to do the you, first one? Let me see. You need one. a palate cleanser? Hold that one up, Chick. Okay. Do you need a palate cleanser? Did you, did you have this one on your butt? Did you put no, this on your butt? No, he did not. No. <clears throat> All right. This, do you want a palate cleanser or are no, you okay to go? Sorry. I'm okay to go. Okay. All this right. is the second one. Duh. Now, do you think that's a uh, payday or is that the... Uh, this one doesn't taste as salty. That's probably because Christy licked all the salt <laughs> off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Christy had that in her mouth before I put it in my mouth? Yeah. Yeah, I licked it. Ah! <laughs> she licked all the salt off that one. <laughs> uh, how is it? So which one do you think that is? Do you, do you want to do it again? No. Oh, no, yeah, you do. Come on. We can do it. We, we can do it right. We really cheated the first time. I yeah, got to tell you. Why which, you can you tell which one? Okay. I think the second one. Was, okay, was, was, I'm, I'm, opening was, these, I'm opening these live on the air. Was the Peterson? The second one. Uh, mm-hmm. And the first was one was the payday. Tom? No. No, you, you got it wrong. I got it backwards? Backwards, yeah. Okay, now mm -hmm. try it again. Right. Here we go. Which this one's that? Straight oh. from the box. Yeah, that was not That box. was not in my crotch, and not Christy lit. did not lick it. Yeah. When you say straight from the box, what does that mean? I mean, I mean the the <laughs> wrapper, kind of the wrapper. <laughs> a little sardine-like. Okay. I'll be done. No, I didn't touch it. Do you like that one? Uh-huh. All right. This is the payday. Okay, now try this one. Tell me what you think this is. This is straight from the wrapper. Is it the Pearsons or is it the Payday? That's the Pearson. You got it right the second That's time. That's right. Well, it was probably the uh, crotch cheese and the <laughs> licking that ruined the first test. Yeah. So it really wasn't scientific. When you lick all the salt off it, it just isn't any fun anymore. You know, I think I'm going to do the show from now on blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. well, unfortunately, we have to take Aww. off. Um, <clears throat> the... Uh, Hey, by the way, thanks for the paydays, Chick. You're yeah. welcome. Oh, you, you bought those? Oh, yeah. yeah. He did. Huh? Well, 12 bucks worth of candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of cash I got thrown out. Uh, but Bob, you enjoyed the Pearson's uh, I uh, did, but salted I, nut roll? That's a good man. I like the payday better. Okay, okay. Well, well we're, we're going to take a break here. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show.
<laughs> that did not suck. Not unlike Alf, you just cracked yourself up. Look out because you're going to be eating a cat in about five minutes. We're and making the- more echoes of freaking Luke Gehrig, Jim. <laughs> What a great Gehrig. speech that was. <laughs> Luke Gehrig. No one has ever topped that speech. The luckiest freaking man on the face of the world. <laughs> he truly was. He did not suck. No, he did not he suck. Did not and suck. that day was the luckiest day for him. Rack him. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the News Desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Josh Arnold shows back up again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of nerve, don't yeah, I? Yeah, there's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Good morning. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Coming up, it'll be a special early edition of Sexy Time with Allie Breen. One of the sexiest songs, I think, ever. Yes. Uh, the Girl from Ipanema. We mm-hmm. were talking about this because um, the singer, uh, Astrid Gilberto, has died at the age of 83. Oh, Shocking. Uh, she was great. Yeah. There she goes. She has a real quality. Uh, listen to this. Oh, I, I love this. Damn. I do, too. This is so good. She like samba with it. It. Huge international oh, hit. Yeah. Really? <laughs> She really clipped it off there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the matter? Uh, okay. No, you want to hear one of her other songs? Any mm-hmm. other song. Okay. Um, See, you can turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it already? It's baby like talk. scatting? <laughs> then, I've, 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 I've never seen her scat. I've watched her piss. <laughs> oh, there you go. She watched her pee? Is there is there a See, there video is. of Astrid peeing online? I'm sorry. You know that the AI things are happening. <laughs> what did you What did you just really? ask me if I've ever? I said, don't you like her scat? Do I've you? never seen it. I've watched her piss. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, <laughs> you know there's... is the is the term the term scat with reference to music? Is it from the? Oh, it, I don't. It can't be, can it? I mean, it could be. I couldn't see the letters. Maybe I was just, I was just essing. So I yeah. Was, so I was just throwing up a scats. bunch of poop. But again, <laughs> yeah. I think you've really nailed it, though. This music does sound like Jack Lemon chasing around. What is it, Verna Lisa? How to, how to murder your wife? <laughs> This is just martini drinking. Yeah. There it is. Cocktail hour. Man loosening his tie. Where's that martini, Phyllis? Sure, and I take it back. I like this version of Fly Me to the Moon. Yeah, and Mm -hmm. her, the the first hit was kind kind of close to being flat. She was married to the guy that was a singer, and they were in the stand. Guess, I guess, was in the studio with her. And um, she started, he said, will you sing the lyrics in English? Mm-hmm. So she got up and sang them in English, and then they ended up erasing the Ooh, husband yeah. and putting her on there, and that was the international hit. Wow! But uh, paid she, her 120 bucks. That's all the money she earned on that song. But From she that, went on. She went on to a 40-year career as a singer. Sure, singer. absolutely. This just is a certain sort of time stamp on this. Yeah, absolutely. But you're right, Christy. This would be kind of great cocktail party music. All right, welcome. I'll put your keys in the bowl. <laughs> We're going to have a good time tonight. Once again. I understand that, uh, what's his name? The Party Meister? What's the name? Big Party. Big, party. big, big Party's coming. Oh, how about that? Once uh, you choose, you can't trade. That's who you've chosen. Farnsworth, how are you, pal? Good to see you. You didn't happen to bring that daughter here, did you? No? Okay, all right. You know what are you doing here? Uh, He's here. Look at this guy. Come on in. How about this one? Oh, my God. This is all kind of elevator stuff. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't either. Okay, we've got the build up. Let's go. The shadow of your smile. <laughs> <when> you <laughs> this is wrong, but I, 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 I don't know. Only you, do you could criticize pretty much everything. No, I mean, it's, 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 Mrs. Harrigan, my wife is home. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Please, drop off the casserole and go. <laughs> don't touch my ween ween. That guy's taking prescribed pills. They're just cocaine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. Uh, Brenda's uh, in the other room. Uh, uh, coming up, uh, an early edition of Allie Breen and Sexy Tag. And uh, Bob's going to be our special guest later today on the show. And uh, Chick McGee, are we still in the Next. Sports All game? right. Yes. <laughs> uh, guess what happened yesterday? That's right. They're going to start calling him. <laughs> oh, so <I'm> Next. <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom, it's Kenny Tormac. Kenny. Kenny. Hey, Shooter, we just landed. I'm an ATL, just got in from ORD through MCO, uh, just wrapping up some last-minute prep for my speaker series. Last year, as you recall, it was called Make Your Sales Sizzle Like Fajitas. This <laughs> year, went outside the box. I call it Stress for Success. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Oh. I know. I know. Well, the only trouble is the ballroom we booked at the Holiday Inn Express right by the damn pool. So I'm trying to get that changed. Uh, the last thing I need is some travel team doing cannonballs during my closer. Plus, <laughs> it's a little hard to sell merch when the entire hallway is puffed up for pool traffic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know, like I said, if we book it again next year instead of neckties and tumblers, we might think about mops and crocs. <laughs> <laughs> That's I know. I know. Oh, and for the record, I believe I overheard you guys talking about some airplane etiquette. Is that right? Yes, yeah. yes, airplane etiquette. that yesterday. Absolutely. Oh, God, I could do an entire speaker series on that topic alone. I mean, as a multi-million miler, I got this bad boy down. First of all, can we all agree? No babies. Hmm. Okay? <laughs> Unless they like a stroller with wings, keep those tadpoles off this Airbus. <laughs> At a flight last week, so many crying babies. Oh, and even two of the Skyhags were pregnant. I said, my God, who's in the cockpit? Nick Cannon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the other rule that's universal, for the love of God, keep your voice down. People don't want to hear some zone four <laughs> mongrel asking where he can reclaim his pink tag bag for the 47th time. <laughs> I mean, between these uh, expedients and the crying babies, you'd find more peace and quiet in a smoke-filled pet shop. <laughs> oh, hey, Ty, Bob, I, I'm sorry. I, I hate to do this, uh, not quite to the gate, but i got to take this. Hey, Ty. Okay. Hey, Ty, just a sec. Sure, go ahead. In tarmac, everything I touch turns to soul. What can I do you for? <laughs> oh, hey, Peg, what's up? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. you got to be kidding me. Well, no wonder why he's been playing dodgeball with me. That explains it. Well, be sure to let Mike know that our PPO does not cover STDs. <laughs> no, he's going to, he, no, he'll want the free clinic, the one off Ralston. Yeah, have a match for Jessica. <laughs> oh, Mike has the drips. <laughs> I knew it. Well, if he had that much trickle down on his renewals, he still wouldn't be original VP after four years. Now, would he? <laughs> yeah, he's the last guy with the best lie. Excuse me. Hey, hey Ty, no, I will not get off my phone. <laughs> Why don't you put your baby back on the teeth before it starts crying again? This is business class. <laughs> <laughs> so get back to coach and enjoy your sunships. Hey, Bob, I'm going to take this. Let's circle back for next week. Let's okay. reload. We just Thanks, Ken. Sun chips, those are good. They are mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Harvest oh, cheddar? Uh, so I, I, oh, where where, where, where we, we, we got... Uh, derailed in sports i'm sorry what demar happened? hamlin uh that's right he put his helmet on and headed out to full practice yesterday wow a miracle uh buffalo bill's safety they call him lazarus is he wearing his helmet on his chest <laughs> that was <laughs> Josh. Really? Don't, don't he, he might have some sort of uh, special uh, padding there, oh okay possibly <laughs> the man lived we can laugh now right <laughs> i think so according to general manager brandon bean <laughs> Not a fan, are you? Mr. Bean. Uh, Mr. Bean. Oh, man. Bro, <laughs> Atkinson can do no wrong. Hamlin participated fully in practice yesterday for the first time in the six months, you know, since he almost died uh, during that Monday night game in Cincinnati. The practice, the first in which reporters were allowed to see Hamlin put on his helmet and take part in team drills. He's 25 years old, made his, uh, his objective to resume his football career after... Going into cardiac arrest and needing to be resuscitated on the field. It looked like a routine tackle, but no. And now he's absolutely fine. It's I, I bet there were tears. Just amazing. Those teammates simply, and coaches. simply amazing. Evidently, he's really difficult to play with now. Because he thinks he's uh, going to live forever. Mm. And uh, he, mm. won't, he won't shut up. About big immortal, he calls himself. Yeah, mm. the big, big, big immortal. Big immortal in the house. What does Big Party say to him? Hey, Big Party, no RSVP needed. Big Party. <laughs> I like that as the tagline. That's right, because the party's always going. Well, yes. you don't need BYOYA, that. bring your own ass. <laughs> or BMOA, bring me your ass. No, very, no, no, wait a minute. Bring me yeah, your yeah, ass. I, I was wrong, too. Stupid <laughs> world record. What is this? <laughs> for those of you who didn't see, Chick was looking at this for the first time, studying it, and he can't believe it. 
Alessandro <laughs> Biancardi mm -hmm. told evidently a publication called, all caps, MADCAT, M-A-D-C-A-T, that he was fishing in the River Po, which was in Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> he was. He said he felt a powerful bite on his line. He fought for 40 minutes. Biancardi said he realized he had hooked a monster. He finally reeled in the giant catfish and with the help of some friends discovered that it measured 9 feet, 4.2 inches long. It's wow. a man -eater. A new world record. He was curious about the creature's weight, but he did not catch it by himself. You can't. He. Uh, there are pictures, photographs of this thing. Um, um, he's got both his hands in the mouth, and his hands are more than a foot apart. Biancardi said he did not want to stress the rare specimen and decided to safely release it back into the water. I hope he got pictures. Did he get pictures? Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, this thing is huge. Oh, my the, gosh. The head is... Uh, oh. Yikes. Uh, well, like, what, a foot and a half wide? Yeah, it's... You think you could eat that? Or it would be really tough? Yeah, Ugh, yeah man, man, that's man. a lot of po'boys. Yeah, yeah. Catfish. It's, there's, yeah, there's a bunch of pictures of it. The, this thing is gigantic. Yeah. Um, you know, there are reports of catfish eating children in certain areas. What? They're all, like, I was watching uh, River Monsters? Yeah. Is that, uh, yeah. Yeah. And they're, they're like some of these... Uh, is that right? I don't know. They're in some weird country that doesn't... <laughs> Have our standards or whatever. <laughs> really? No, but they're oh yeah, I, they're like some sort of indigenous peoples, that, and they they were uh, clicking and clacking about how the. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're 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 really getting deeper here. <laughs> no, they were talking in their language, whatever it was. It, was, uh, it, it, was, it sounded like it was somehow inferior. Uh, oh, word. vastly. No. <laughs> they don't play Wordle. <laughs> Is that their problem in no. that country? No. But they were, uh, and they were talking about how kids have gone missing while swimming, and they're convinced it's because of these giant catfish. Oh, gosh. It's very clear in this one photograph. This fish is significantly longer than this man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's a nine-footer. Wow. But he put it back in, threw it back. That's so, what he said. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. I assume this is a uh, this is a website for uh, people that love catfish. Mad What's Cat? The name? Mad oh, cat, Mad Cat. I'm assuming. Mm. Yeah, um, I wonder what he used as a lure. Yeah, a little hot, a piece of hot dog. I thought you were going to say a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maybe hook up your nephew to it. <laughs> I heard he just talk. He talks sexy. That's what I heard. He talks sexy in a kingdom. Yeah. Oh. Hey, oh. baby, come here, cat. I oh, like your yeah. whiskers. Kitty, 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 kitty. I mean, it doesn't look. It looks like the face of a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, it's, it it's prehistoric. Have you seen sure. any of these pictures? Yeah. It, it, no. It's this green. That are the severed genitals of some primordial deity. <laughs> what? All right. Wow, wait a minute. If if there is a therapist listening, we need to go over that last statement. <laughs> you know, they, they worship the severed genitals of Do they? Primordial. Who's they? The people from this country that Josh is mocking. Yeah. But click and clack. Or whatever and they, they, were, were. they had their own radio show. Didn't <laughs> yeah, they were great. I, love I, do, I do too. You think they have mummified... Penis and things, and they worship it. Is that what you're saying? Oh, all these many so, cultures, many of these cultures, they they, they, that, they grind up the uh, you know. That's why they're killing some of these valuable animals. This is from Chris, endangered. and he listens to the show, and he especially loves Tom. And it goes like this: I went to a hibachi grill last night. Of course, they had all the same gimmicks, Tom. But then, listen to me, Tom. Listen. Stop reading. No, I'm just, I, I was just trying to, isn't hibachi technically the wrong word? Teppanyaki is the correct word, sorry. but everybody calls it hibachi. So. Okay, sir. But then the chef piled all the rice to the side, split part of the rice into two legs, then added arms and a head. He placed two whole eggs in the rice man's groin area, <laughs> looks at my brother and says, is that you? <laughs> Then the chef takes a carrot and cuts a tiny carrot and places it above the eggs. Hilarious. Who needs a little figure peeing water on you when you can have a rice man with huge egg nuts and a tiny carrot dog? I, I, I've been saying for years that we need some new gags Fire in the, in the world. This is 
brilliant. There, there's fam there are families there <laughs> trying to eat. Later, he picks up the eggs and puts them on Rice Woman's chest, looks at a woman at our table and says, is that you? Oh, oh yeah. This man should be ashamed yeah. of himself. What do you think of that? Well, look, now He's they're going to say that to the wrong person in the end, one of these then, days. Next thing you know, so they're going to be in law some yeah. lawsuit. Yeah. Remember, there was a mm -hmm. legal issue with a, one of the guys had the little pee, -pee doll that has yeah, the oh, right. woman, and she took uh, exception. Yeah, yeah, she was yeah. insulted. Assault. They did claim assault. <laughs> it, what is what is the proper name of those tables? I think the restaurants are known as teppanyaki, or at least that's maybe, I don't know. I gave it a Google. It says guests are seated at communal hibachi grill tables, oh, okay. and the chef performs the ancient art of teppanyaki. Oh, okay, gotcha. there we go. Gotcha. Okay, so hibachi's okay. Good. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's called Benny Hanna. Okay. <laughs> Wake up. Okay. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Why don't we uh, have a, a team building a lunch? All of us go over to bed. They haven't done that for a while. Yeah, sure. I, I love, love that place. I used to love to come back and everybody smelled like the table. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, the well, last was, time you well, there was one place ratted they, out one of our... <laughs> they didn't have... So, uh, how's that divorce coming? Yeah, none oh, of us knew. Oh, like, nobody what? knows about that? I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he moved on. Happily. Sorry. But at the time. Okay, that's remember he's up on the bridge. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, let, let's just move forward here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, coming up uh, in sports, or, or is that it? Uh, more sports coming up, including another world record, All which right. is real stupid. We have um, <laughs> uh, bachelor parties in the news, bra sizes in the news, bra pickle news in a very unusual way. And did you um, say pickle news? Yep. That's right. It's brine time. Brine time. time. Brian time, baby. Brian time, baby. Come on. Uh, and the Rolling Stones uh, are involved in the coffee business. That's right. You'll be starting me up. We'll find out what that's all about coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules. Go uh, Paul, you uh, kind of came off the road as a comedian. Uh, many years ago, when you started doing the TBS show, how many? We started in '95, so really, 14 years. Wow, doing it. But you occasionally go back out on the road and do I do, stand -up. I do. I took a little time off uh, the last couple of years, but now I'm uh, I'm getting back out there. You know, mm -hmm. it can it can kind of burn you out being being on the road. But, sure. You know, I always see stuff on the road that you just don't see anywhere else, and it just makes you laugh. And, and mm -hmm. I was staying at this uh, this uh, hotel and uh, one of my club dates. And uh, I go down to the to the jacuzzi, uh, mm -hmm. and there's a sign above the jacuzzi that says, "No one shall jump or dive into the jacuzzi." <laughs> now, if you're gonna dive <laughs> headfirst into a jacuzzi, are you really gonna be swayed by the word "shall"? <laughs> Come on, boys, let's go in the jacuzzi. Uh, hold on, oh, I see the king's English. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck? I'm guessing that was a, a, a lawyer. They really should That have, just uh, made me laugh all day. Mm -hmm. That takes away the loneliness of the road. Yeah. You can't get lonely. Uh, Doug Stanhope is with us. Uh, let's see if we've established a few things. Doug is a single man, but he's living with a woman in... Um, her, in sin. Her, her name is Bingo. Her nickname, yeah. Uh, she, uh, um, <laughs> they live in, is it Bisbee? Christy yes. felt the name to You know, this is how, I, I get a great bingo story, but I like mm -hmm. her. She's got a really uh, careful, conservative side of her family that listens to your show, and I oh, have a okay. great story, and I can't tell it. Oh, that's oh. too bad. Well, she's Let very nice. This. We, we have met it. Bingo. She's very nice. Yes, she's mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. and we I'm did, a, we did a charity uh, poker event at in Miami last week. This yeah. is the card game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, with porn stars. <laughs> and me, <laughs> right? Yeah, because you hear poker. Doug's naked a lot. Did I mention that? You hear poker? No, not anymore. Not anymore. Got, no, not, Those days are icky. over. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I bloated up when I quit smoking. I mm -hmm. just yeah. It got all achy. Yeah, I get all bloated and fat, and mm -hmm. see, I try not to be naked as much as possible. <laughs> I'm sure Chick can feel me on this oh, one. Oh yeah, I feel you, brother. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, the the only point point of my story is uh, if you're gonna. Uh, if you're going to have a, uh, a threesome in a sleazy Best Western in Miami with a giant pile of stepped-on blow <laughs> with Ginger Lynn, mm -hmm. do it in 1983. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying about last weekend. Fair enough. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Didn't, didn't, work, out. Sure. didn't all, work out yeah, well. She's nearing 50. <laughs>
Hey, wait a minute. Things I should have done as a kid. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Why did I finally do this now? rural church outside Midland, Texas. Hmm. She's 19, her husband, 32-year-old Daniel Morales. I bet they're on City Walk. <laughs> <laughs> Chick, I forgive Chick. you for everything you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, yeah. Chick McGee. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, only another 12 years. <laughs> Till the next one. Thank you. Thank you very much. (laughs) Baby Jessica. (laughs) Bob and Tom 24-7. You know, I travel a lot. It tends to mitigate. And also it comes out more when I'm drinking. Uh And since this is a morning show, that that was tough. Okay. Uh I think I'll get my own cologne. I will. It'll be a smell maybe of bourbon sweat and marijuana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just to cover up the smell of bourbon sweat and marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> I want no. to be fresh and smell good. It smells too much like bourbon sweat and marijuana. <laughs> Hope the pleasant fragrance. <laughs> yes. Brought to you by Dude. <laughs> Dude. Mm-hmm. Relax all. From if you if you want to drink, we have a sales <laughs> department here. Yeah. Uh, do we <laughs> ever? There's plenty of yeah. a, uh, there's plenty of alcohol I, down I the hall. I love drinking. Mm. I just I get sick and tired of being bossed around by bourbon every night. You know, these voices in my head. Punch that guy. Have sex with that girl. Eat that burger. Pee here. Turn left. <laughs> Make Figure it out stop. myself. <laughs> Frank Caliendo. Some people don't like John Madden. I love John Madden because he makes me feel smart. Madden will say things in a game you don't need to hear. He'll say things like, hey, if the if the, if the quarterback, if, uh, if he throws the ball and, and a receiver, if he catches it in the end zone, then that, that's going to that, that's gonna, that, 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 that's gonna, that's gonna be a touchdown. <laughs> John, what did you think the most important thing was? Well, the, the, the best game to win is the third game. and uh, you, you can have the first game and you might have the fourth game, but the third game if you're playing 25 games, then it's the 23rd game. If you're playing 75 games, 73rd. It's always a three because it looks like half an eight. And, uh, when, you, when you realize that a half an eight, you can't figure eight. You can do a figure eight while you're skating, but you can't do a figure three. And if you could do a figure three, that would probably be uh, amazing. But uh, uh, back to what we're talking about. Great football is, uh, is about great football. And when you're playing great football, hey, hey, hey that's the best kind of football. I know. November 15th, 1864, Major General William Tecumseh Sherman began his famous march to the sea. Sherman led his troops from Atlanta, Georgia, to the ocean port of Savannah. As he was leaving, Sherman set the city on fire, gutting 40% of it. Atlanta wouldn't be burned this badly again until they gave their franchise tag to Michael Vick. (laughs) Morning laughter. Just might be the best medicine. I can hear you, oh no. You're talking out your ass. Delightful. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the uh, performance room. Hey, Chick. Yeah. There's Josh Arnold. <laughs> Uh, Hi, Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Hey, big party. What's the attitude? Hey, what's on, man? Hey, big party, no attitude. Big party, ready to party. I, I don't <laughs> feel that. There's Willie Griswold. I am going to get a pastrami sandwich at oh. lunch, and I oh, thought I'd tell you all. Mm. Pickle spear? Uh, I'm going to give it to my buddy. Do they uh, deliver? <laughs> the, they do not deliver this ah. place. 
How will nice you, of you. Giving it to your friend. Thank will you. you deliver to Uncle Chick? Oh, you Thank want a pastrami you. sandwich? Oh, yeah. Right Will on, delivery? Just leave it on the stoop and <laughs> walk away. You're not going to even invite him in to nope, eat it? Nope. I'm a uh, big what party. If, and what if he time. brought some, uh, you know... What? Um, spices. Some what? Spices? I'm talking about. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, no. Some of that sweet? No, no. Some, uh, some, of, that, some of that reefer. Oh. Some, some of that reefer. No, spices, he called it. Spices. Spices. <laughs> some, some, it's some of that reefer. Um, no, chick doesn't smoke. I don't My, smoke. I, I I'm, I'm don't inedible. want to give weed to people that don't smoke weed. I, I like to keep or, it for myself. And don't hide edibles on a pastrami sandwich. Never. No, never. Uh, never. What kind of bread are we talking about, Willie? A marble rye? Rye, yeah, you uh, bet. Huh. We have pickles in the news coming up in a minute. Also, a couple letters. Uh, Chick has decided his new nickname is Big Party. Big Party. Is that, is that correct? Big Party's here. <laughs> um, this comes to us from Gary. Gary. Hi, Gary. Gary is a... Uh, Gary talks with his guitar. <laughs> I love that part of that song. I know you do. Yeah, a little that bit of, little bit of our REO Live. It's great. Um, uh, Gary is an avid... Uh, fan and okay. pays close attention to the program, noting that I prefer the nickname Chick was given on February 21st of this year. If you'd like to check the archives, hmm. Chick was referred to as King Peckerhead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember Was that. it you that I, called him that? I don't know. We, we'll have to get someone on this. Well, Gary must know. Thank you, Gary. Uh, listening in uh, Central that. Ohio. King uh, Peckerhead is very exciting. I like That's, that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to mark that. Mark that, <laughs> mark that in yellow. So Your Highness, <laughs> King Peckerhead. Kilometers <laughs> per hour. <laughs> Your Majesty. Uh, uh, Christy had a news story about uh, the sad death of a fine singer, mm -hmm. uh, famous for the song "The Girl from Ipanema." Such a shock! Astrid. Oh, yeah, shock. rock the world, her passing. Oh, man, oh, this is a great. So this is. I like the song. Yeah. Great music. But her death means nothing to me. <laughs> Josh, don't laugh. <laughs> you're really on a roll. You, 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 you. You, know, I you dissed some country you're not even familiar with, uh, the, and the, the language <laughs> well, they spoke because what? they don't play Wordle. Um, <laughs> I don't play Wordle. Can you imagine really? playing? So. I, I get it in one every time. Word. I need a challenge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one every time. Yeah. How do you do Wordle in Ru Russia with, like, backward R's yeah, and junk? That's, that's, that's tough. Stupid. Yeah. Uh, Man. But um, we have some very unusual Or in letters. China. Hey, this I got one. Wordle in one house and a couple twigs. <laughs> one house and a couple twigs. <laughs> You've seen their quote unquote written language. You've got them yeah, they're doing okay though. They've got you know the nuclear weapons and hey, really good sciences. This. Could how we many, how many keys on a Chinese language keyboard? Mm. Talk oh, amongst I yourselves. Bet. I had a laptop that had the uh, Korean uh, on it as well. As, is that right? As the English, is that a lot yeah. of it? A lot of, lot of, uh, lot of. It's like it really is just lines and stuff, and you have to hit them in different combinations, and they make the one figure. Yeah, mm -hmm. really, really. Because one thing does it take a lot longer? I never learned it uh, well enough, mm -hmm. for sure. Okay, but, well, um, the you point start I'm an making international is, uh, incident by typing a thank you note. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Inviting all the people from the north down for, for the <laughs> yeah, birthday party. Too, I, come hang out. <laughs> um, let's see now. Uh, King Peckerhead. Uh, yeah. we, we, I, we, this will take some time to check. This is really going to take a long time to check, but I, I think it's worth reading. We were talking about the uh, the girl from Ipanema and that famous song, and many people, I guess, don't aren't familiar with it. But um, really, it's kind of a uh, it, like you said, it's a cocktail. It's music in every Jack Lemon film where he's yeah, got a martini in, and he's, in movies. Yeah, he's like and how to murder your wife. Of all your 20th century references, I think this would be the most. I think people would know this. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Well, th this guy didn't, but he appreciates it. Brandon writes in the middle of the song "La Via Strangiato." Is that Ace? The rest song. Yeah. Why it's, are you it's, talking it's, like a deer? <laughs> La Via Strangiato. Is that a hard G? I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's a Rush song. Ace is correct. On the Rio DVD, Alex Lifeson is introducing the band, and he says, that's the guy from Ipanema. Do you remember this? Oh, that's clever. I had a DVD <laughs> yeah. and an album. <laughs> okay. Well, the, you can dig that up for us for tomorrow, Ace. Uh, in the middle of the song, they do a little intro, and he says, so he never understood it until now, writes Brandon. The okay. How about that? The guy uh, from Ipanema. Ref referencing a famous song. That's Singers funny. think they're interesting, don't they? Yeah, they really do. They, they, the audience, they think the audience Maybe this will interest you. 
Huh? Well, thank you, Brandon, for sharing that. Another yes, Brandon. A texter writes, he has been to the beach at Ipanema. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no kidding. Yeah. Really? And um, uh, No way to check that. I, I have, too. Oh. <laughs> I think I saw him there. Oh, I loved it, yeah. Oh, it was yeah, unbelievable. Was a Sam from Ipanema. A lot of women Quote, walking back. Down. More ass than a donkey auction. <laughs> yeah, the girls wear skimpy bikinis oh, there. Mm -hmm. that okay. nice. They got something going on with their butts down there in yeah. Brazil. Yeah. I got to get to the bottom what's boom, going boom, on with their in the boom, water. Boom. Yeah. It's cool down right. there. They got good stuff going on. Yeah, uh -huh. some in that water. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, we return sweet, to sweet, sports sweet. now. Do we have another world record? What's going Actually, on? we uh, need to revisit the PGA Tour and Commissioner Jay Monahan. Already tired of this. Uh, <laughs> defended Tuesday's landmark announcement that the PGA Tour Tour, How much money did he get? World Tour and Live Golf <laughs> would merge commercial operations into a new collectively owned for-profit entity. The merger sees the golf business sector and the Saudi money all combined. Here is Mr. Monahan from yesterday, I think. As time went on, and you know, you've heard me say a couple times, circumstances change. Mm -hmm. You know what changed? Um, you know, mm -hmm. I looked at, at where we were at that point in time, and it was the right point in time to have a conversation. I recognize everything that, you know, that I've that I've said in the past and in my prior positions. I recognize that people are going to call me a hypocrite. And any time I've said anything, I said it with the information I had at that moment. And I said, I said it based on someone that's trying to compete for the PGA Tour and our players. Um, and so I accept those criticisms, but circumstances do change. And I think that, you know, in looking at the big picture and looking, looking at, looking at it this way, that's, that's what, that's what got us to this point. And, and my family will live. <laughs> and you'll notice I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on a chair huge. made of hundred dollar bills. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and have you seen my bank balance? Right. No. Seriously. Who are needs the, integrity when you have money? Are you kidding me? So uh -huh. Are the Saudis going to buy the LPGA and make the women all wear head coverings and not let them ride in vehicles? Yes. How do you know about that? <laughs> yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Ugh. Boy. Problematic. Yeah, man. Not great. Do they make those, uh, the, what are those things called, the visors that also work as a full burqa so the Saudis can buy the LPG? Oh, like the, the golf visors. <laughs> they're, either, they're either visors or yeah. burqas. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, well. Um, so what happens now, Tom? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Your critical thinking like, as we go forward. Do people just forget about it? This is the way golf is now? Or or, or do people get organized? They protest? What, 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 what happens? You're asking the wrong guy. Why don't you know? Because I don't care and don't know about it. Uh, so I, I, I think, think people do. will just let golf. it go. Hmm, okay. Would it would it stop you? Can you put your mind in the fan of a uh, professional golf fan? Would you stop watching? I don't think they're going to care. There you go. That's and that's the. Some problem. might be ecstatic that all their favorite players will be back together again in a yeah, and they'll be fighting and Bryson DeChambeau can fight with. Well, everybody fight, fights with Cal guy, I guess, but mm -hmm. everybody can get mad at everybody else. Uh oh, I got the rush thing. Back oh. to the girl from Ipanema. Perfect. Here we go. On the bass guitar. The guy from Ipanema. He's playing it even. Getty. Getty was the singer. He didn't play bass. I thought he, Getty took all the pictures. He, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Different Getty. Yes, yeah. Getty. That's very he's nice. leaving. He's out. He's ending <laughs> on the high note. Three minutes late. <laughs> oh, that was good. He has to pee. Oh, okay. Um, More yeah. sports coming up, including the world record. So I didn't realize uh, that uh, Getty actually played the song. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, cool. I bet that was confusing if you didn't know anything about the girl from Ebony. Yeah, you're right. What the hell guys are in Rush? Seven? Get him. Uh, three. Just the three. Come what? On. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, coming up, the sex toy burglar. Um, uh, we can have more Rush news if you'd like. They're opening a bar at the airport in Toronto. Oh. A Rush themed bar. You got to hurry. It's called Rush 2. T O O. <laughs> Okay, it's called we'll, Cheers. Isn't that weird? Uh, we'll find out about that. <laughs> and we have the Cheers bar actually in the news. Uh, coming up, our special guest will be Bob. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there.
let, let's get a shot of the mustache. We have the camera in here now. I got a, I got a before shot. Okay, and now I we just, got the, uh, we're now, that now, now the we web. got motion pictures here. Zoom in nice and tight on this blonde beauty. Hey. Um, okay, <laughs> now uh, you have, uh, is that mascara? What kind of makeup is that your girlfriend got for you? This is the CoverGirl Lash Exact yeah, Mascara. It can be found in there. stores near you. Okay, now, are you, Chick, are you going to apply the mascara to yeah. the stash? We'll see if it looks... Come on, Chick. It looks any that. better. What color is the mascara? Uh, well, it's, it's the color of the tube, right? It, no, no, it's not purple. It's a brown. Okay. Oh, that's okay. the one. Because your hair is kind of okay. blondish, blondish brown. Okay, here's a little something for the camera. Hey! <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's, uh, okay. Could we forego the, uh, let's get, let's get this going here. Just get the, uh. Okay. Get I'll be the... gentle. You know what, though? What? His mustache looks a lot better close up. It than does. It looks very good. Distance. Thank you, Chick. I appreciate yeah. that. You can't see it from far away. It's you the same color as the touch. skin. Gentle touch. Now, does that stuff, what if you lick your lips? Will that stuff come off? <laughs> don't do just look, don't I'm just, just do the middle. If Am you I do, half stashed? Wait, mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not doing this in the. Now, now, if you get uh, you know, you darken it up a little oh, bit. That looks nice. See, thank it you. Brings out the. Oh, let me see. Oh, you know, Give me a look. Brings out his eyes. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Okay. And then you do this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pump, okay. it, pump it, pump it, pump it. Bob, <laughs> yes, Bob did, remember the movie that uh, last year was made that didn't have any oh, speaking yeah. to it? The, uh, the Artist? The Artist. Did, yeah. anybody see the, did you see yeah. The Artist, Pat, the silent movie last year? Silent movie? Yeah. yeah. It was called The Artist, won a bunch of Academy Awards. That sounds You awesome. look like that guy. That's the kind of mustache you have. Mm -hmm. An Academy Award winner, huh? Let's take a look. Well, well and it, 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 it was yeah, supposed yeah. to be a mustache from the days before there were talky films. Right. So mm -hmm. It may be a little day to turn around. Let me see. Let me, let me verify. Fine. He's almost done. Uh, it's actually looking, yeah, here. looking pretty darn up. good. Looking yeah. pretty darn good. Let's see. What's my right. Turn around. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> Voila. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Pat, Pat McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Now, I can see it now. It, nice. it does look very romantic. And um, it really does match his hair color a lot oh better. Oh, my God. We yeah. got a little mascara, Ronner. Well, wipe yeah, it off. I'm sorry. Yeah, they started talking to me, and I got mad at Tom, so I can miss. Them. Now, do you think do, maybe you should go with the what's the permanent dye for the mustache called? The permanent? All, yeah, it's an all the commercials. Not permanent. Just, just for men. Just for men. That stuff. You need the just for men. Mm-hmm. You think it would look like this permanent? Sure, yeah. No, it wouldn't be no, permanent. No. It would it, it uh, last for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, and then you have to reapply. And... So for my Super Bowl TV stuff, I need to get the just for men. Or yeah, just do it, yeah. just hit it with the mascara before you go on screen. I think mm -hmm. it's it's fine the way it is. Chick, I'd like to thank you for what you just did. No, but then you're going to be walking around and then, then you're <laughs> you're, you're, you're going to be wiping your face and that's going to half of it's going to come off. If I was to have a cocktail right now that happened to run a little high, yeah, with yeah. The mascara run. I think so. Night? I don't think so. Some most mascara is is like they you, the yeah. commercials I've seen the girls dive. Of course, in the they pool. always uh, you know it's women and their it's their uh, eyelashes that they use it for. Rarely do you see those get hit with a, a drink. Yeah, mustache, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and when they do, they usually kind of tear up. I don't know how that would work at a bar, Pat. Yeah, uh, Pat's now trying Maybe to you touch should up go the, the mustache just for men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then the question has to be asked: Even if your mustache is dark, is it really your look? Okay. And that's Let's where see. I think I think that comes into question. the right there's nobody anywhere near here i guess i'll just sit and wait for the muggers to come get me <laughs> that's now we're to, to the crux of the issue he's afraid of muggers where you live <laughs> yeah well i have to get well, i have to get from to there drive from to here, here. <laughs> the muggers would stand out <laughs> bob and tom in the morning and highlights all day long the bob and tom show weekday mornings at 6 a.m eastern on bob and tom 24 7 Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Matt Weinhold is our guest. Uh, and oh, wow. 
I, I still love I still love Star Trek. Do you guys keep up with any of that stuff? I'm, I'm not, not a Star I'm not Trek a and Babylon fan, Five and all that. I love all that stuff. Pretty much anything that will not get me laid, I'm into. <laughs> uh -huh. Which, but I actually have had sex, which sort of makes me like the Fonzie of the Star Trek convention. <laughs> you know these conventions. <laughs> oh man, it's Matt. He's been with a girl. Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I actually bring a girl into these things. Where'd you meet her? On the internet? No. No, no. I met her at a bar. Whoa! Whoa. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! <laughs> oh, that's great. Things are so complicated. Remember the good old days when all you needed for romance was a van and some chloroform? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes! What happened to those days? Bob and Tom 24-7. Horse racing, you said you're from Kentucky. You love horse racing. Love horse racing is my passion. The only sport that I really love is, is horse racing. I've owned a couple horses. We wow. have a, we're, we're purchasing one now. In fact, a, a two-year-old colt. Cool. I don't know if you all know this. All Kentuckians know this, and most people around the country know thoroughbreds are named traditionally after a combination of the mother's and father's name, the sire and dam line. For mm -hmm. example, I didn't know Kentucky that. Derby winner Ali Sheba, out of his father, the great stallion Ali Dar, and its mother, the broodmare Belle Sheba. Mm -hmm. We're looking at one now uh, called, out of a sire named Whiny Bull by a, a mare named Girl on Girl. We named it Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> 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 First of all, our guest in the studio, comedian Evan Davis. But you live in LA, so you got to have a car. Mm -hmm. You got to have something big. I don't think that's right, man. Housewives driving expeditions. I don't think you should be able to. <laughs> you should be allowed to drive something that big unless you're really going on an expedition. <laughs> like if you're picking up C's candy in a shower curtain, that's not an expedition. <laughs> no, that's an errand. Yeah, you should have True. to take the Ford back in a second. Uh, I think they should have eye tests at the optometrist for like drivers. Like instead of reading letters. Off a card, they uh -huh. should have you cover one eye. It's like, is that is that a roof rack or a cop car? <laughs> <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Cause I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still Poop. You can pick your morning radio show. Welcome back to the Bob and Top Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. And there's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. He's over there in the performance room. There's Josh Arnold. Big party. Right here, Daddy. <laughs> there's Jessica Olsman. She hey. joins us. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Party guy. I am. Big, Big party. Big party. Here's Tom. That's the new nickname for Chick McGee. Big party. It is Mr. Mr. Big Party. Yes, it's always a big party. Ladies and gentlemen, time now for a, a palate cleanser. Uh, <laughs> get everybody uh, feeling good. Uh, of course, it's... Uh, no. no. Yeah. No. Big party, say no. <laughs> I finally stopped that dog from digging up my garden. Good. Oh. Took away the shovel. Oh, he was using a damn shovel. That's silly. Oh, man, the misunderstandings over there at Aces. Oh. <laughs> no misunderstandings when it comes to what Dad wants for Father's Day. What's that? Go to omahasteaks.com, use code BTS at checkout, get $30 off an unforgettable gift guaranteed to make Dad's Day. Omaha Steaks, because look, if there's one thing we know, it's that Dad's want steak. My gosh, uh, trust us. Yes. <laughs> Listen to the man. We're not lying to you. Well, why would we make that up? Yes. <laughs> he doesn't want it. a sleeve of golf balls touched by some Saudi prince who killed a guy. No. Oh, he wants steaks. God. No, he doesn't. <laughs> this is going to be forever now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, we'll bring sorry, sorry. Sorry. Bring, bring the guy back to life. We'll talk. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. What else is happening in sports? Next. <laughs> um, well... Stupid world record. Is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. A Canadian man has broken the Guinness World Record for the most trees planted by an individual in 24 hours. <laughs> well, that's that. nice. That is nice, that is isn't nice. it? Helping the world and such. Yeah. That's what they would say in the bizarro world. <laughs> That's, That's a good nice. thing. Well, with a little arborism. Yeah. In an effort to reverse <laughs> some of the effects of climate change. Well, that's a myth, but go I ahead. Think, <laughs> oh. I think this will help. 
I planted some trees and climate Good for change this guy. is over. Did you see Arctic Circle is running out of ice by 2030? It's fine. So that, okay. Thank you, it's Ace. Not if not worried at all. Okay. See, uh, you should be. The, 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 the ha hazy skies over half the country, that's fires. AI, in will, you know. AI skies. will have killed us before. <laughs> all of oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> think of the t now, don't you like trees? When's the last time you went saddled up to a tree, put your hand on the tree, leaned into it, and took a good whiz? <laughs> Isn't that a nice tribute to the tree? I've uh, I've leaned back against a tree, slid down, lit up a dart, <laughs> had a smoke there in the woods. Well, like the end of 1917? That's right. <laughs> uh, fired up a heater. <laughs> took the afternoon. Yeah, man. Me and Willie did that one day. It's talking fun. about you, Dad, you. Mm, fine. Yeah. I think this is fun. The guy planted, how many trees did he plant? 23,060. That's Whoa, insane. Yeah, that He's the new Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> His successful attempt beat the previous record of 15,107. Is there a Johnny Appleweed? Oh, like planting uh, marijuana? Planting pot plants? Flying around the world. There has to be. There has to, to be yeah. a cannabis store like that, right? Well, mm -hmm. you know that marijuana is a weed. It'll grow anywhere. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Even my closet. Well, good for this guy. Where Over the years, uh, Antoine claims to have planted more than 1.3 million plants across Canada. Wow. I bet this was the top story in CBC tonight. No, well, the top story is the massive <laughs> fires that they're experiencing right now. That are, that's the causing worst. our hazy sunshine uh, in the, some well, places. Worse than yeah. history. Beautiful. Uh, I noticed it. Beautiful uh, sun. Thing. You haven't noticed it? <laughs> Beautiful. It's not hazy here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, actually, Where were you goodness. yesterday? <laughs> I was outside. Plenty of time. I was outside. You couldn't even see Alzi's house. <laughs> oh, no. I, Josh and I had lunch outside. Never once did we go, go, oh, it's hazy. Josh, I don't know how if you realize how healthy this point of view is for your mental health. <laughs> if things don't affect you, you just don't care. I live the life of Riley. No, I mean, truly, <laughs> we should all be so lucky that we can live like that. Well, you've grown up people forcing you to worry about this stuff. Oh, I've been terrified since. I was sick. Yeah, no, they need to knock it off. You grow up with school shooter drills. It'll scare you forever. Oh. That has nothing to do with climate change. Oh. <laughs> I guess you're right there, aren't you? Either way, both topics clearly not uh, divisive among people. No. <laughs> <laughs> we bring people together when we talk. Oh. Yeah, man. So are those trees seeds or are they actually trees? Hmm. That's a good that's a good question. Like, were they the saplings or whatever? Yeah, they're little teeny little saplings, right? It's not just it's not just walking nope, out. Nope, they gotta be at least four feet tall to count. <laughs> yeah, I, it's more difficult to plant that many if you have to actually. But that amount though sounds like he's just throwing seed around. Is right? he yes. delegating this? Does he have pals that are helping him out? Really? Oh. Twenty seven thousand or whatever. In twenty four hours? Twenty three thousand trees in twenty four hours. He didn't that's... dig twenty three thousand holes. Did no. he Well how else did would you, he plant them? Did you dig the holes before? And then, pre, yeah, pre just like a run gangster in Vegas, in Vegas, drop them. Do, 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 See, do, if you, do, do, do. because if you if you don't have your holes dug first, <laughs> next thing you know, you're going to be digging more holes. Yeah, people are going to come out there and say, "What are you digging?" Then you got to kill that guy. <laughs> and then, <laughs> how do we get from this guy planting trees for the benefit of the earth to oh, look at, hey, burying guys? Look at this guy over here. Look at. Look have you guys here. ever look at, this guy, look at this guy talking He's too nobody. much? He's nobody. Have you guys? Uh, ever planted a tree and then watched it grow as you lived in that home? Yes, yeah, absolutely. I have. Pretty I, cool. Yeah, I have a oh, willow that, right now. I that, that meant a lot to you, didn't it? Still does mean moved, a lot. Moved to out me. of the house, though, right? In fact, any... my neighbor sent me a picture of the tree the other day and said, "Look how big oh, it's grown." Yeah, her husband was hanging from <laughs> that. Must be <laughs> the tree. Oh, oh, isn't this tree lovely? Oh, oh by the way, North Frank uh, Dilbert finally took himself out. <laughs> well, it's a tough time to be a Dilbert. <laughs> oh, and Delbert. then we planted oh, one. Del you know what? I know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I have, and I have a, a willow right now that I planted five years ago. Jake, you want to go cut it? Down? <laughs> oh, yeah, you have you guys ever used? Oh, one of those two man saws. Oh, that would be so no. for each yeah. person. And one of those, I did one in a log show, you know, or a little lumberjack show. <laughs> what were you doing in a log show, a log? Christy? Oh, I got to run on the log. I got to do this. Could you do that, oh, that, was the, you do that motion for no, a while? The, uh, <laughs> that was the Christy Lee, I'll do anything for money tour. Remember the lumberjack that? show, yeah. yeah you right. were a lumber Jill? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, weren't you there? It was Dog and me and Pat Carlini. And Doesn't that sound fun, of... Tom, watching yeah. <laughs> saw down the tree? <laughs> Is that the one where they had the dogs swimming in the pool? Uh, yes. They had the trick dogs. Yep. Oh, they knew entertainment, they were, didn't they? No, the, they, dog, the dogs were great. I don't know if they were trick dogs. <laughs> they were trick dogs. <laughs> they, you throw a dog in the water, he'll try to swim. <laughs> they were fetching stuff <laughs> and doing lab. dog stuff. They're labs. That's what they do. That's why they're called retrievers. I have two golden retrievers that don't want anything to do with the water. Are you serious? Yeah, they just stand there looking. Really? Oh, yeah.
That's, mm, that's I interesting. Can't get enough. Dogs are aliens, not real dogs. Uh, okay, well, uh, is that sports? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big party out. <laughs> Big party gone. Buddy, Over. This is what you farm and fool. There you go, whatever you do, always. Be a good sport. Next. Christy. <laughs> it's time for Brian time, chick. Brian, it's time. Tom, did you hear? That's right. It's Brian time. Brian time. Brian time, baby. Brian time. Brian We're not talking about Brian time. Pickleball. We're talking about pickles. Well, then that's not Brian time. Yeah, it is. Brian time's about brine. pickleball. You guys know I'm right. <laughs> Grillo's is teaming up with Two Robbers Seltzer Company to create a pickle-flavored hard seltzer. Gorillas. Grillo's. Grillo's. Mm -hmm. Two oh, Robbers Seltzer announced the collaboration, saying each can of the new seltzer will be loaded up with Grillo's pickle brine and will clock in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. Mm. Ew. Is that, I know. Uh, Ew. How's that going to good taste? for you? going to taste like pickles. Well, isn't and, um, pickle juice uh, good for hydration? Isn't yes. that the yeah? But so yeah, now you can drink. Now you can drink longer. Salt water. Yeah. I'm okay. not, salt, a, pan, I'm not a fan of the pickle juice. You ever had to take salt pills uh, when you were on the, the cross Harriers country team, cross country yeah. team? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh, really? You did? Wow. Yeah, sure. yeah. Football practice. I oh, yeah. take salt pills. What? Uh, what does that do? It replenishes your salt. Oh. Because you can't make uh, You're sweating so much. Brain connections without salt, Willie. You know that's right. Salt binds the synapses. If you don't have salt pills, you're you're sitting in a corner drooling, crapping your pants. Your brain should be well seasoned. <laughs> isn't <laughs> isn't there something called a pickleback? Oh yeah. 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 You Will you stop asking about this? It's a shot of whiskey. You chase it with pickle juice. Yep. Spoke Is up. it primarily whiskey, Willie? Yeah, for the most gotcha. part. I mean, that's what I've heard. Whiskey, whiskey bourbon. Whiskey, Willie. Hey, Whiskey Willie! <laughs> whiskey Willie, take my mind. There's a song, Pat. <laughs> now, if you chase a shot with another shot. Isn't there a name for that? Yeah, yeah. alcoholism. alcoholism. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, just ask. Okay, very good, very good. Um, uh, coming up, uh, it's going to be a special edition of Sexy Time with Allie Breen. I'm still looking forward to that. Right now, I want to look forward to uh, some great food all summer long. That's where HelloFresh comes in. They do the shopping for you. They go to the grocery store. They do the measuring. You put it together. And right now, they've got a very special offer at HelloFresh.com. What I'm talking about is 16 free meals. you got to use the code BTSHOW16 to take advantage of this. HelloFresh.com slash BTSHOW16. What have they got? Well, like I said, they do the shopping. They do the measuring. You put it together. They've got their new for the summer fresh and fit menu. Featuring, among other things, calorie smart or protein smart lunches and dinner options. They even have vegan dinners for you. They go uh, this way and that way. You've got good old-fashioned comfort food. Willie, what are you working on over there? Check out the sweet chili pork bowls with bell pepper and candied peanuts. HelloFresh sends you nine ingredients. You put those together in six easy steps. In just over a half hour, you have this delicious Hall of Fame dish that you made at home with help from HelloFresh. 16 free meals, free shipping. The code is BTSHOW16 at HelloFresh.com slash BTSHOW16. That's HelloFresh.com slash BTSHOW16. Get out of that recipe rut have some fun, and uh, this is great to uh, work way to teach the kids to cook, and it's a lot easier because they've done the measuring for you. Great for date night, Josh. HelloFresh.com slash BTShow16. Coming up, a special edition of Sexy Time with Allie Breen. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Strapping on a guitar, and now what, are you going to play your new one here? No, I'll play. I'll play a new one. Okay. I'm well, not like Haywood. I can't write a song about two minutes, but uh, I don't know. But you had a really good one you played last time. I really liked. There we go. That's what that's working. Wayne had a wreck with a big old buzz, and you couldn't tell what kind of car that was. He rolled it in a field where he turkey hunts. That's four total cars in the past six months. But Wayne must not have learned his lesson yet. He just stuck a handicap tag on a black Corvette. <laughs> Who the hell puts a handicap tag on a black Corvette? Washed me bag and the cast is still wet. 
A shattered left leg with his neck in a brace. Wayne's trying to get to heaven in a high-speed chase. He's squealing tires and won't turn around. Got on a damp diaper and a hospital gown. <laughs> doing a 120 in black fiberglass. Got a nurse on call and a cop up his ass. On 14 prescriptions for a compacted desk. Wayne's doctor's worried and his wife is pissed. And the news chopper chasing him up in the air. Wayne could give a damn about Obamacare. And his all-state agent's getting all upset. Who the hell puts a handicap tag on a black Corvette? <laughs> hey, Amen. Let's do the big Bruce Springsteen in it. Uh-huh. Tom VIP now. Just go to bobandtom.com slash VIP. See, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Hey, this is Frank Caliendo, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Oh, that was a good flight. Yeah, it was. Ah, Nicoterm. That's the, that's the name of it. Nicoterm? Uh -huh. What's that? It's a patch. It's a patch? Yeah, it's a, it helped you quit smoking. My doctor gave it to me. Nicoterm's a patch? Yeah, Nicoterm is a, it's a patch. A patch. <laughs> a patch. Like, Some kind of patch. Yes, it's a patch, like you put on your arm. Nicoterm is a patch? Oh, I'll be damned. Yes, it's a patch! <laughs> Two days later, different flight, same airport. What do you mean a patch? It's a patch. You mean like a cabbage patch? No. Like a briar patch? No. Like a patch of pirate wear? No. You mean like a patchwork quilt? No. You mean like a Clarence Carter no. patches? Why can't you understand this? It's a patch your doctor gives you that you wear on your arm. What do you mean arm? Two days later, same airport, yet another flight. Now, let me get this straight. Nicoterm is a... <laughs> Nicoterm, guaranteed to help you quit smoking. I think it's a patch. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7.
there. It's the Bob and Tom Show. There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Do we have a, a roster of your nicknames over the years? Uh, Did we put somewhere. that together? There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, check. There's Josh Arnold. He was Sportsosaurus Rex for a while. Yeah, that was yeah, Sportsosaurus that was Rex. Now his new nickname is Big Party. Sports Doctor. Sports Doctor. Mm -hmm. Jessica Alsman is here. Hey. King There's... Peckerhead. Yeah. According, to, according to this. For one brief shining email. moment. <laughs> Gary. Thank you, Gary. Peckerhead. There's Ace Cosby. There's Howdy. Willie Griswold. KPH. I, I'm Big Party. And here's Tom. Now, were you Chuck's Deluxe in high school? Yes. Well, on the football team, were Chucks you Chuck's or Deluxe? Deluxe? Yeah. Sounds like a burger, doesn't it? I'll have the Chuck's Deluxe. Oh, Chuck's Chuck's Deluxe. Deluxe. I love the word Deluxe. Do your high school friends mm. still call you that? No. Oh. No. You only have one high school buddy that's still alive, right? Um, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, no, there, there, there are several. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, most gosh. of the uh, high school people most call of... me a stuck up. I must have no, just because most of your high school friends <laughs> pretend they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean chicks do <laughs> Who's calling? Tom Gross. Oh, there we go. I'm not here. It's I'm the early here. edition of Sexy Time with Allie Breen. And the question always is, where is Allie? Um, well, I don't know today. Yeah, this, like, this is something uh, new. That's uh, Orlando, Florida. Hotel. Yeah. yeah, it's gotta be a hotel. Is this your condo? Nope. No, I don't think you're gonna guess it today. You are in uh Pennsylvania. Sheboygan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh Sanford, nope. Florida County Jail. Um That's not a jail. That's a nice jail. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna you're yeah. Derek Jeter's house. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Is that a hotel? Mm -mm. No, it's an Airbnb. Oh Ooh. okay. So it could be Derek yeah. Jeter's house. Where at? In the Hamptons. Ooh. I have a gig in the Hamptons, and they put you up here, actually. It's a little cottage behind the venue that they're turning into an Airbnb, so. Cool. Yeah, I like yeah. the wall, I like the yeah, wall art. Great. There is no. <laughs> yeah, it's very barren right now. It's, <laughs> a little, have a little stark. That's yet. good feng shui. I get a few things. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, the name of the show yeah, is Sexy, Sexy Time, and uh, Allie Breen is a very fine comedian, and uh, she takes the time to get letters from you out there, and um, you can reach her at A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, Allie Breen, and um, we're going to try to help people with their romantic lives. What have you got, Allie? Dear Allie, I know you guys always say not to snoop, but if no one's doing anything wrong, then why wouldn't you? I actually think it should be mandatory in relationships that you can check each other's phones at any time. I really don't see the problem unless you're a liar, and I do this in every one of my relationships. Am I wrong? Uh, yeah. plural. How many yes. are there? The key yeah. is a plural in relationship there, yeah. I, no, you're not necessarily yeah. wrong. Um, I was in a relationship once, and I told her, hey, if you ever uh, want to look at my phone, you can. And so I think you're fine doing that. But is, you're, did she take you up on it? No, nope. no, she didn't. Do you have any unusual photographs from um, exotic locales of anatomical uh, uh, <laughs> regions of ladies? Of other people? No. Um, of yourself? What's that? Do you have selfies of uh, little Josh? Uh, no, I, I've taken them, yes, yeah. But I get rid of all that stuff. So yeah, Do you so sell it or uh, it's no? I never show. That's one thing I do is I would if somebody were to send me a photo, I'm so f grateful. I would never want to ruin it by sharing it with somebody else. That means photos of yourself. Do you ever? Oh, share those. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like OnlyFans? <laughs> I've not. Uh, I've not p publicly put what them if, out there. What if someone asks for one? <laughs> I only send one if I'm asked. I don't. Okay. I don't. Un so if anyone texts you right now, you're like, okay. Not necessarily. You'd have to go take. You don't have one in store. You don't have a phone. stock image, do you? M maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe in my. No, I don't, because it's been so long since I've sent one. So. She'd have to go and take a fresh one. Yeah. It would uh -huh. be a, which is which current is current today uh, photo. That's what I would want. Anyway. Now, do you hold a newspaper up next to it like Lee Oswald with the <laughs> rifle? <laughs> <laughs> like Lee Oswald. Yeah. You, know, the, you know, the famous photo of Lee with the Italian rifle. Willie, do you have any d pics saved in your phone? Um, I don't think so. But I imagine if you went through certain text threads, you could probably find one. You saved got around. rid of the one I sent you for Father's Day? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that to be special between us. <laughs> See, when I get a picture, I, I want it to be the current, that day. If there's something super hot about them taking time out of whatever they're doing and sending me something. I don't want uh, a saved one. Yes, in the background, you can see the surgical theater where they're prepping the heart patient. <laughs> That's right. I'm into surgery. Yeah. Point. I don't mind. I like a saved one sometimes because I think as a guy, I have better D days than other. Right. And I imagine right. for girls, they have better boob days, you know? Maybe. S sometimes mm -hmm. day or two after the period. Those things are heavy, man. Know what I'm talking about? I would so rather you, than be tan. You want to be that. tan, maybe? <laughs> yeah. You yeah, have, that's true. 
Have a little stockpile. Go for it. Mm. Okay, Josh, I'm sending you a, a dick pic right now. <laughs> I appreciate it. I want you to look at it as soon as it comes yeah. over and uh, explain it to the audience, and please. And judge it? Yes. Okay. Is this the one with Nixon and Elvis? This is uh, one of the bigger I've ever seen. Oh, isn't that a Yeah, this huge? is a, uh, let me go ahead. Look uh, that the, is look a the big. Size of that. <laughs> that's a picture of me. Hey, like I said. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. He looks oh. very caught off guard. Did you candidly take this of him one time? Uh, I think we, yeah, we were messing around <laughs> in the studio. And we just uh, <laughs> finished a frenzied lovemaking, and he I was uh, ah. in inviting. And that's his come hither look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't uh, do that sort of thing. With dick pics. <laughs> you know, we're not. You've never, no. never, Tom. Got not it. ever. No, no, no. Okay. Have you ever requested a picture from a lady? No, of course not. From your girl? No. no. <laughs> it's fun, dude. It's real fun. No. Send a text God. right now, Tom. Yeah, Ask send a text girl. to yeah. Kelly right That's now and say, hey, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Would she assume your phone had been hacked? <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she knows that I can barely operate it. Uh, Allie, I have um, like 45,000 photographs on my phone right now, but they're primarily of... Dogs and kids. Dogs and yeah, primarily dogs yeah. and kids. Yesterday, the girls are in this big dance thing this weekend, and they had to get all made made up for dress rehearsal. Hilarious! Oh, that's fun. So sweet. That is adorable. So those are my most recent. But yeah, I'm, my my phone is very boring. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, uh, Ace, I can't imagine. Uh, are you a? Uh, no, you don't do the dick pics, do you? First of all, you need one of those. What do they call those? Wide angle, wide angle extender thing. <laughs> <laughs> Selfie stick. Don't want to just get the first half of the show. <laughs> it looks like he's shooting a skateboard video. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, um, do you have any uh, erotic, if you will, homemade uh, photographs on your phone? I don't think there's any on my phone, but I've done it. I've sent pictures before. Really? It's fun, right? But I've never kept them. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of fun. Have you yeah. received but them? I've received them too. Now, I, are they? Are there? Is it just? A, is it just this anatomical shot, or do they use props? Like, <laughs> are there puppets and stuff, or are there things there to <laughs> puppets? A shiny you, top hat. Yeah. Things to show you scale. You take today's paper like it's a ransom note. Yeah, that's not, yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah, it depends on how long you've been in the relationship because it gets goofy after a while. You can hang a hat on something, or you can be. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is it always it um, becomes, when you receive this? Is it always in? Shall we say the angry position? Yes, that would be crazy to not send yeah. in that position, I think. That, yeah. Okay. Not, well, I, think I mean, I guess if it's from the 1600s, like the statues used to have, it could have been sexy. I don't think that's the case anymore. Osman, you want a flaccid I picture? want a before and after. It's like, let's see what he can do. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. Right. Wow. Good job. You know? <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, let's move on to our next letter. Once again, you can reach Allie, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N on various social media platforms. What have you got, Allie? Dear Allie, I have a son who's 13 and attends weekly physical therapy class. He hates completing his daily exercises at home, but he loves to go to his therapist. Well, the other day I pulled up my YouTube history, noticed he's periodically looking at videos with giant boobs and connected that his therapist is in fact well endowed. So do we pull him from this place or try to see if they can get a different therapist to assist him? And if so, do I say to them, sorry, but my son is getting horny over this therapist? No, what no, no. I uh, you're no. misunderstanding a little bit here. He's a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, he's looking, regardless of who his therapist is, he's going to look at stuff. Mm -hmm. Nothing, yeah. nothing will stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless so, that therapist has a specific OnlyFans page, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Yeah, right? no, there's, he's not. Just, just boobs. Yeah. Don't yeah. change a thing. If you C block along. your own son, I will be furious. <laughs> and he does need the physical therapy. So yeah, sure exactly. It's a professional situation. Yeah. It so. is professional. Don't. It, it's all good. Yeah, no, no. You're, you're just dealing with the therapy. Actually, they should make all of his teachers well endowed. Then he'd be excelling at everything. He'd yeah. want to go to school. He'd want to go to physical yes. therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's yeah. got the rule. <laughs> Remember that okay. woman who uh, took her, her son to the uh, bunny ranch and bought a prostitute uh, for him? Yeah. Oh, nice. sat on the bed and they haggled price. Good, Good luck with that kid. Uh, and then she did excuse oh. her during the transaction. Good luck. Excuse uh, yourself. Yeah. That'll be everything printed that, forever. Everything that's going on with your son is completely natural. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Don't. Uh, yeah. So far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a healthy 13-year-old boy. When you? I was that age... Yeah, let him enjoy it. I did a project on the animal, the blue-footed booby, mm -hmm. just because I wanted an excuse to Google boobies. And <laughs> on, on it, was it difficult to actually find what you were looking for to do that... <laughs> 
<laughs> well, so you I, kept getting boobs? I found out that there's also like the yeah. red-footed booby and the gray-footed booby, so I was like, well, I better just Google booby just to make sure there might be other color <laughs> feet over here. <laughs> so fun. Blue-footed booby is crazy blue, though. Have you seen one of these? They're hysterical, animals. They look like a Star Wars really? animal. Did yeah. Titmouse come up? Uh, oh, wow. That's a burb. That's a bird. A, yeah, it didn't come up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> bird, 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 Okay, Allie, let's move on. What do you got? I wonder at what age do kids learn to delete their history? Do uh, people figure that out that their parents can see their history at some point and start to or you just get oh, your own I phone think and you, you do learn that pretty quickly? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I found out at yeah. fourteen, but thankfully I had a brother to blame it on, so we were. All I good. found out <laughs> way late, dude. Way late. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. people knew everything about you. Uh, they must have. Yeah. Hmm. So. In the in the early days. Of computers, I, I had one of those uh, towers. Sure. And uh, oh yeah. And uh, I, it was in in my uh, my house, and it was kind of a boys' club at the time. And um, the thing froze up, so I I took it to uh, a friend of mine who was a, a Mac guy, and he, he pulled me aside and he said, uh, "Do you realize there are uh, fifteen hundred downloaded?" <laughs> photographs on this thing and I'm like what <laughs> so I had no idea I, 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 I didn't even know what, how to do it yeah um and then uh I sh won't use any names here it turned I said and but they were time stamped mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so so yeah this, this one was at 10:30 uh, last Friday and oh well I was asleep but yeah. uh <laughs> one, one of my one of my son's buddies <laughs> You know who I'm talking about. Mm. Very computer savvy. Uh, yeah. Mm. Downloading <laughs> porn? Is that what he, he was He still doing? thinks it was a buddy. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 No, that one job. worked. Willie. That one worked, man. Willie, you got over it. You fool. Initials were J-H. Uh, he's still on. This was in the early days when it was, you download the, the uh, these were, I guess, still photographs. But mm. uh, yeah, it's all, out, it's all out there. I think the worst thing I looked oh, at yeah. as a kid was like, what movie does Ewan McGregor show his penis in? And I would try to put those movies together. And then it's train like, spotting, if you're curious, by the way. And, um, and? Velvet Goldmine. <laughs> oh, I, and I think mm. a couple others. Pillow Whoa. Book, maybe. Oh. I don't remember that. Love me some Ewan. Mm. Well, now, uh, let's get back to it. Allie, what else have we got over there? Dear Allie, I've always been a foot guy with a very specific twist. I'm incredibly turned on by nylon-covered feet. Mm. Mm. Back in the day, I'd catch lots of glimpses of them, but lately I'm lucky to see them once or twice a year. Uh, I've kept this for my wife so she wouldn't keep nylon feet from my view boy. out in places, but now I want to ask her to wear them. The danger is that now she'd be on full guard if she saw me get a peek at other girls' feet, so is it worth it to go all in and have her just be my personal model if she's into it? Oh, yeah, I would do it. If I, I was like, do you it. really like yeah. that, okay. Yeah. Yes, I okay don't. I'm not sure that women think like men do when it comes to this. And I don't think I'd be upset if he was looking at other women's feet. To be quite honest with yes, you, yes, you would. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> you'd, be, <laughs> you'd be out of your mind. <laughs> would not. I, you she son may of a not bitch. assume. <laughs> <laughs> women don't I, th I don't think women understand how much this is on our minds mm -hmm. like if, if we're into something how often we think about it really <laughs> yes. oh really see mm -hmm. so she doesn't yeah. think that you're out there just looking at any so foot what that are comes, you thinking that about by. all the time i'm thinking about things you would never stop slapping me for <laughs> <laughs> and, and you wouldn't have been able to ask him that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a weird. Th I I don't get the fifth foot thing, but if this is his thing, yeah, why? Yeah, it seems let the wife get into yeah, it. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. easy. You'll be able. I think you'll kind of find that you're able to have your cake and eat it too. Here. Mm -hmm. So go buy her some nylon also, stockings. Yeah, yeah, make it a gift. Yeah, are they? And he's it, right. Not many it, women wear them anymore. So no, is it full stockings or just the footy home. part? I guess full stockings. Oh. But he likes the foot. In it. Oh, so I guess you could wear knee highs, just the knee high hose. Oh, oh those are yeah. grannies, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, roll down. So yeah, <laughs> and, well, I'm going to church here with Mamma. Would the things at the shoe carnival that you you put over your feet when you don't have socks would those work for you? I, I wonder if they would. I don't yeah. think. Oh, yeah. The no shows. How about those things that More when, than when repairmen are at your house, <laughs> they put those <laughs> boots on. Those, oh, those, those baggy yeah. footies yeah. over their shoes when you're in an open house on a rainy day uh -huh. yeah do you suppose there's some guy there's probably some guy that those were imprinted on him and before he can do anything you've got to put these big feet things on him. <laughs> i bet his favorite thing is a peekaboo or was it peekaboo toe heel like we can uh, see the toe just a little bit wearing pantyhose mm -hmm. maybe some well, white right now that guy listening he's crashing his car somewhere <laughs> well, we got time for one more letter Allie breen what is it 
Dear Allie, my husband wants a divorce, and my best friend says guys only get divorced when they have another woman lined up. She's convinced he has this. Should I try to hire a PI or something to see if that's the case? First off, women, you need to know, your best friend it sucks. <laughs> all, yeah. No guy likes your best friend, all right? She's yeah. a Absolutely. troublemaker. Absolutely She's, true. God, she, all she does is start S. Kick her. To be fair, though, true. almost all of our best friends also do suck. Yes. Yeah. We're, they're, all, they're all idiots. That's how we know. Right. Our best friends suck. are just morons. Yeah, yeah. We, we have dumb friends, and you have scheming friends. Yeah, you have friends that want to ruin yes. the world. <laughs> <laughs> starting, starting with your life. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the last exactly. thing, the la absolute last thing you should do at any time is to ask anybody for advice. Especially yeah. during a divorce. Don't do it. Do yeah. not listen to your best friend. Listen to your no. soon-to-be ex-husband. Hold on. You're just being stupid. What if she stupid. gets more out of this divorce if he cheats? Huh? Well, that that probably being... is the case, right? Yeah, not really. Why else, not if really. Like, you don't want to know the truth. Otherwise, it's like, who cares? Be gone with him. Maybe it... we don't know this woman. No. Oh, maybe no, he's no. getting a divorce because she's an insufferable bitch. Maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> things don't. Just saying. You That's gotta... why I never understood why. Yeah, I got divorced. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, not sorry at all. No, no. Feel free to leave my advice because I don't have experience in this. But I, I say just uh, ignore. You don't have every... experience in his butt. <laughs> well, I don't know that guy's name. I may. Okay. <laughs> just ignore everybody else. There's going to be a lot of noise. I'm, we're sorry you're going through a divorce, but just, uh, boy. Yeah. Don't hey. listen to your friends. No, no. <laughs> Is Jess right, though? Do you get more? If, if someone does something wrong in the divorce, it do you get more money or more out of it? Depends, it depends. on the depends state, but usually no. Or if there's a prenup, oh, okay. usually know. it's 50-50 in most states. So I remember there is a scorecard to see how you've done at the end of the divorce. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Let's keep that in you can hold it over him for the rest of his life. <laughs> Allie, uh, where are you working this weekend? Uh, well, tonight I'm at Main Prospect in Southampton. And then this weekend I'll be at Westside Comedy and Sheba Mason's. Great. Okay, well, go, see, right. go see yeah. Allie Breen. You can write Allie once again, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, on various social media platforms. Send us your love troubles. We'll see what we can do. I'm not sure we helped anybody today, but we're trying. <laughs> uh, thank you, Allie. Thanks, guys. Bye, Allie. Bye. Bye. Uh, right now, I hope you were listening to that in your rake with your Raycon earbuds. It would sound that much better because the Raycon earbuds are the best and they cost half as much, right, Chick? That's exactly right. Let's face it, coffees are, what, 10 bucks a, a cup now. You've got to keep your eye on the bottom line. Raycon's mission, of course, is to prove you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound and all those essential smart tech listening features. Raycon, you get a pair and a spare and still pay less than you would with some of those other big-name hoity-toity tech brands out there. Raycon knows in this economy, every per you got to keep your eye on every purchase. And, of course, Raycon's offer... Buy now, pay later options. They have an easy peasy, lemon squeezy, free return guarantee. They offer free domestic shipping and flat fee international shipping. And they have over 50,000 five-star reviews. And of course, I haven't even told you about eight hours of playback time, crystal clear call quality, and water and sweat resistance. So go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today and get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom today and score 15% off your already low Raycon purchase. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Uh, coming up, Bob is going to be our special guest. Also, uh, we have uh, interesting news about a bachelor party, Rolling Stones in the news today in an odd way, and uh, room service requests. We'll try to get to all those. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob. You ever put your nuts on an anthill? No. You haven't? No. Me and my buddies used sure. to do that. We do anthill rides. Whoever can stay on the longest, get your nuts out, ride an anthill. See, these are the advantages to growing up in New York. Yeah. That never came up. <laughs> There's a few activities in the big city. We never got sure. to the point where, you know something, I'm going to just drop my nuts on the anthill for an hour. Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe and the great like thing that. about New York is if you did drop your nuts on an anthill, no one would notice. <laughs> yeah. just like, would you... Have you seen the crazy guy on the anthill over on 3rd? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's not, isn't he? Yeah. Wow. It's dangerous, though. One year they swelled up to look like a sack of kneecaps. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Kneecaps, you say. <laughs> nice. We play gay chicken. You ever play this? <laughs> okay. Gate chicken? Probably, probably gay. not. Gay oh. chicken. Oh, gay chicken. Hold on. Have you ever asked that question and got a yes? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, gay chicken. Yeah. I was in a gay chicken leg for six years. <laughs> Chicks play. I can tell. I can tell he's got I soft love hands. the gay chicken. He's got soft hands. Why do I think I don't want to know how this I don't know. want to know. Oh, no. It's a real chill game. It's a... Uh, you stand there, you and your buddy stand there, you hold on each other's penis. Right. Okay? Right. That's and the right. first person to let go yep. is gay. That's ah. right. I see. Gay chicken. So, in other words, you guys. Now, if you look them in the eyes, you get a warning. <laughs> There's a lot of hand washing in this game. If you look them in the eyes, you get a, a warning. Welcome to a new show called I've Never Been uh, That Boring. Yeah. <laughs> You're out at the track. You're hot and thirsty. If you don't get some relief quick, just like those Indy cars, your body's going to overheat. That's why you need the cool, refreshing blast of body fuel. It's like an overhaul for your body in a 12-ounce can. Just one drink and you'll be refueled and ready for anything your busy lifestyle demands. Excuse me, sir. You look hot and thirsty. Boy, I sure am. I got my two kids with me and I forgot the cooler in the car. God, it's got to be 100 degrees out here. I could sure go for a cold drink of water. Water? You don't want water. You want something that'll replenish all the fluids you've lost. You need the overhaul for your body in a 12-ounce can. You need body fuel. Body fuel? I never heard of it. That's because it's new. <laughs> Jesus, this tastes like motor oil. Well, there is some motor oil in there. And some transmission fluid, gasoline, and even a little engine coolant. Engine coolant? <laughs> hey, I can't see. Well, of course you can't see. That's the power of body on your system, making it just like brand new. What do you think of body fuel? Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> hey, what's that fizzing noise? Ah, that's a little battery <laughs> ad. Sure, it'll keep your body running smooth and efficient. How do you like the sporty racing look of the package? I can't see, I can't see anything. Well, it's very, it's very sporty. Don't worry, preliminary testing shows that the blindness is only a temporary side effect. Anyway, how about that refreshing, cool, clear taste? Come here. I'm going to sue you bastards. Come here. Where are you? Body fuel. When you're so thirsty, you could die. Try one of Body Fuel's three delicious flavors. Original lemon lime, iced tea, or diesel. I, I can't I can't feel my tongue. My gums are bleeding. My gums are bleeding. Body Fuel from the people who brought you Thirspiration Plus. It's the health drink for those on the run. Go out and pick up some Body Fuel today at a supermarket or auto parts store near you. Come here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Bob and Tom show on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Actor, comedian, Jen <laughs> Cobra is here with us. Would you like to cook? Are you a Cajun? I am Cajun? an excellent cook, man. Mm. Ooh, I'll make you slap your mama, for real. Ooh. Like, I got, I got gravies and sauces, and, and, you know, I'm a lesbian, so we grill. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's it yeah. that's our, that's oh, our they big, love it. They love it. Yeah. That's our big. That's our big contribution to the culinary really? world. I was not I aware no of that. That's what's, right. What? We like we like an open pit of fire. That's <laughs> because we can get our drums out and have like a little drum circle <laughs> and conjure up the goddess while we're making the you God. steak. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show weekday mornings at six a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom twenty four seven. Sunshine. Bob and Tom 24 7. 24 7. 24 7. Right now, we've got Brooke Chalice as our guest. Did you drive here from? Sicily? Yeah, yeah, I drove over and uh, no longer driving my Yugo. You know, I had got to, rid of it? Yeah, I got a Yugo for a while because, you know, I bought a Yugo because I had the coupon. You know, sure. And so, <laughs> not much of a car. You turn up the radio, the car stalls. You know? <laughs> no rear view mirror because nothing will be behind you, believe me. <laughs> you, can actually, you can actually tick off the Amish people. You know? <laughs> they go by and bull whip you. you know? Sorry, they don't have horns. Do I got places to go. <laughs> 
I don't know if you know this or not. If you ever get behind the Amish, you know those horse-drawn carriages? You know, they usually have that orange triangle sign on the back. I found out if you fire a softball and hit that sign, you dunk the driver. You just lose him. It's a great little highway thing to do. That's a nice little trick. Hey, this is Henry Phillips, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Well, what else would you be doing with your time? And I went to see the Police in concert band. Great band, yeah. yeah. Great. And Sting has got, he's dressed like a rock star, but I'm noticing he has on his wrist a watch. And, and not like a fancy watch, a watch. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at... Do you need that as a rock star? You know, it's just, wh where you got to go, Sting? You need a watch. You know, you don't, I don't want my rock stars punctual. You know, if you're going to make a date with Jim Morrison, he'd be late. You know, what is he going to be in the middle? Is everyone ready to rock and roll? Hold on. Well, we better wrap it up in about an hour and 15. <laughs> I've got some stuff to do. The sitter is waiting. Are you ready to rock? I want my rock stars on heroin or dead, okay? That's a rock star. Here, here. Not with a watch. Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chip. There's Josh Arnold. Chickster. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold's here. Good morning, Chickster. I'm Chick McGee. I have a uh, letter just for me. And okay. Here's, here's Tom Griswold. We'll get to that letter in just a second. I'll remind you, Bob is going to be our special guest in just a few minutes. All right. Uh, but uh, I'll get to the letter. I'm sorry. Dear Chick. Know? Yes. This is from uh, Dan. I am in total agreement with you about not wanting anything to do anymore with class reunions. Oh. <laughs> okay. In 2002, I received the invitation for my 20th class reunion. Okay. I simply returned it marked deceased. <laughs> oh. Wow. How about that? I've never been bothered by them again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do social media, so I can be dead in their minds forever. Oh, but you know that he's probably part of the big board, you know, classmates. Oh, uh, <laughs> they have that? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we yeah. had... Uh, sure. We, we have... Uh, yeah. Yeah. We have trees yeah. with little uh, ornaments oh, yes. hanging from them. <laughs> oh, oh uh, boy! Classmates who have passed. Did they uh -huh. just do recent or? Oh Since... yeah, they have the. No, they're recent. They're. You think right there's ever been a guy who's walked up to one of those trees, saw a person's name, walked over the trash can, and threw the condom into it? <laughs> Is that right? Well, guess I'm not going to bang her. Oh, jeez. Because <laughs> we just had a story about condoms Taking at the family. Up. Yeah. Or, no, at, not at the family reunion. That's a Donnie Baker song. Yeah, well, now I get it. Okay. Now you get it. Okay. I didn't get it either. It's my okay. fault. It I, <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> clunky in its telling. Clunky? I thought, it, I thought it was a guy who was thinking. You, you know what? I, you know what? I, I forgot. I was talking to people who simply don't listen. <laughs> I should have saved that joke. Did you for, say that it was a female? I just said a name, looked at a name, I walked I, over, but it was all there. You guys no, weren't no. listening. Well, I, 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 it's not I, all. I, could dis I'm, I can't disagree with you more. I have to find new coworkers. <laughs> yeah, I was picturing, it was, I was picturing this you. Is what, this is the problem with being the best in the room. <laughs> I, no it comedy. was half-assed at that. No comedy joke. Wow. You think I, you've I, never I, been on stage. I, told, I will die on this hill. Chick, do Please. you think the night that Will Chamberlain scored 100 points was one of his teammates going, dude, I was open like the whole night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way to go, ball hog. Yeah. I just learned something yeah. on Twitter. Do you know they have Reese dipped animal crackers now? First off, it's Reese's, you hillbilly. <laughs> 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 Reese animal crackers? Reese, look at this. Reese dipped animal it's crackers. Reese, I can't listen to you guys say Reese anymore. <laughs> I do it just to piss you off. <laughs> Reese <Reese's> cups. <laughs> yeah. Animal crackers. Yeah. Oh my God. If you type in Reese's, Reese animal, <laughs> and it, it types the rest of it, get cracker. Here I we are. I have no idea. Well, we'll, have to, we'll have to try them in the yes. meantime. On the at the news desk. Through the condom in the trash. Well, speaking of didn't new products, the, Keurig. Know it was a female who was deceased. Keurig didn't know he was a he. You have to be pretty stupid not to understand uh, the context. Uh, yeah, no, I did. The, the delivery was awful. <laughs> oh, it's horrible, right? <laughs> 
I want to hear it again. <laughs> One time. Well, now, maybe, <laughs> maybe we, we can do, on. We can do <laughs> no, Ace's check. intro with him. Yeah, do you want to give it a shot? You no, know, that doesn't work. That It's not that kind of joke. No, not at all. It was simply too good for this show. <laughs> oh, okay. oh I know okay. what. Here's what she wants. Next. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, Chris? Keurig has partnered with the Rolling Stones for a new blend of coffee. Don't care. The limited <laughs> edition Start Me Up Iced Coffee Kit Ugh. includes a custom designed K iced brewer, batching tumbler, and a start me up K cup pod coffee blend. What huh. a sad state of affairs. <laughs> Do you think the Stones have enough money? Hey, don't you? Hey, 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 we want to be relevant again. <laughs> Help us. The blend yeah. features a nutty roast with notes of strawberry. Just go listen to this and uh, don't worry about it. Jeez. This is good. Terry okay. said the kit also provides access to the Spotify playlist. I'm a monkey! Customized by the band to rock out to while you brew, sip, and enjoy. So the band had input <laughs> as to whether or not they like the taste? I the guess. And everything? The Start Me Up kits are currently available on Keurig.com for $139.99. So you got to buy the whole machine. Right. Okay. Oh, I see. This is for the real Stones fan. You keep here. reading. The lady that tried it said it tastes um, um, ashy like uh, Keith Richards' dad's <laughs> cremains. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Tom, you can sweeten that with some uh, brown sugar. Oh, oh, of course. Oh, Thank, you, yeah. Thank you, Ace. Thank you, Ace. Finally, some humor on this show. <laughs> <laughs> you poor bastard. I want to hear the tree <laughs> joke again. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> See? Pat admits that it was a joke. <laughs> Sniper knows. Shall we ever yeah. go over to one of those? Trees and <laughs> you yeah, reach yeah. into your pocket and you take your condom. That's how it goes, yeah. Put her right in the trash. Yeah! The yeah, vacuum. I'm not going to lay her. That? That, it's so good it's already being repeated. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the humor zeitgeist. This is so stupid. <laughs> I'll try. This is a great release for Father's Day. You got a dad who loves the stones? Yeah. Get him a Keurig. Cake and cups. it looks, I can't tell if this Cake cups. I guess it does have the famous tongue logo. It does? Um, yeah, but it's got a, um, uh, the, the uh, tongue is uh, coffee colored. The, the lips are kind of reddish and the, it says the limited edition start me up medium roast coffee. The logo is right on the little, uh, what do you call the K cup? Little buckets. Okay, oh, cup. The little buckets. <laughs> the little buckets. Oh, I, 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 you should have seen him in the break room like an hour ago. He was like the the weird ape creatures in 2001 looking at the Kiri go, well, where does this basket go? It, is. it looks like it shouldn't fit, but I bet it does. You know, Maybe it really it. does look pretty cool if you've got a Stone's dad fan. Christy, Stones. were you ever attracted to Mick Jagger? No, not really. Something. I was a uh, Ronnie Wood guy. Oh. Yeah, I liked the Ronnie Wood. He was cute. Really? Mm-hmm. Figured you had a better shot at him? I never shot at any of them. Yeah, you did. Don't sell oh, yourself short. Oh, I did short. not stop. No. Well, you know, I used to bang a guy in uh, Grand Funk or something, right? Oh, tell him Mix, um, and, uh, what Mick just read about, what is it, Al Pacino, 83, having a kid? Mm -hmm. Yeah. De Niro having another kid. Mick's got to step up. Christine, yeah. Christine, maybe you're the next mom. Me? Have Mix kid. Have Mix kid. Uh, One of my kids would have to have mixed kids. I could have mixed grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Pat, how come you're flinching every time we say Mick? <laughs> <laughs> it's offensive. <laughs> do you find, do you find Josh, that co coffee acts kind of as a laxative? Not for me, no. No? Okay. That helps me out. Would have helps very, me very, out. Would have been very helpful if you'd said yes. Yes. And, well, you didn't help me with my joke. I won't help you with yours. <laughs> Ask me, Tom. You had two people try to help you. You made it clear we are not teammates. <laughs> 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 Chick, when you, drink, when you drink coffee, do you find that it has laxative qualities? Oh, well, yes, it does. <laughs> well, I understand that this uh, new Rolling Stones coffee makes your bottles move like Jagger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see, that's see, a Maroon glad that you were a part of that. Oh, or or, make, your, five or make your bowels start up or something. How about that? No? <laughs> Pat, you have a song? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Right? Do you have your guitar, Woo! Andy? Take the temperature. Same room I with you. you do your Mick Jagger. You got the temperature? Yeah. I'd like a venti dark roast no cream. Make it black. <laughs> I had a physical. The doc says drink it black. <laughs> I saw the doctor and it took off all my clothes. I had to turn my head, cough and touch my toes. 
Doc says I can't have cream after my heart attack. No sweetness with aspartame, it's just plain coffee black. Can't have my usual three sugars extra cream. No dairy in that latte with a foamy steam. I'd like a boring dark roast, no cream, make it black. <laughs> That's all I've got for now. That's great. Oh, man. What a nice tribute. We're coming right back with a special guest. Has been in the studio for a while. Bob will Woo. be our guest, as in Bob and Tom. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got a comment? Our email is Bob and Tom at Bob and Tom dot com. Vietnamese man who was thought to have had the world's longest hair has died. <laughs> had that word been penis, I think it would have been a much more interesting story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, just uh, we'll, we'll just change it. Do the story and, and use penis. It's creative licensing. You want me to, wherever the word hair is, say the word penis? There you go. Now yeah. we're on to something. Okay. It'll be fun. The Don't use the word penis. Use the word... Uh, Wang? Wang? Wanker? Wang? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, Wang. He's <laughs> Vietnamese. Go ahead. Yeah, Wang. The exact length of Tran Van Hayes... Wang. Could I, could I read the story? Wang. <laughs> That's not correct. That's not correct? Can I read the story, please? Uh, go ahead. The now you know why, Phil. Uh, <laughs> if, you'd, if you'd let me finish, you'd... No, would, we're right. not. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why are you Fine. looking at me, Snottily? She's running her pie, pie hole over there. If you'd let me finish, you'll find out why. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The exact length of Tran Van Hayes Penis? unwashed... <laughs> okay, unwashed. You know what? <laughs> you, you know what? You, you did just can't resist, can you? You did just you know jump what? in a little easy. Let me tell you what. I am not going to let him Can get I this story. Something? This will be... The I apologize. <laughs> you were exactly right. <laughs> See, if I say we the exact length Very early. of Tran Van Hayes. <laughs> Can you read that sentence again, please? <laughs> Go ahead, read it I again. Totally, the, completely read apologize. it again. <laughs> uh, we're now, once again, we are substituting the word wang uh -huh. for the word hair. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I am reading mm -hmm. word for word. Go ahead. <laughs> the exact length <laughs> of Tran Van Hayes unwashed <laughs> dong. That <laughs> 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 I'm, oh, I'm sorry. The exact Wang. Wang. The exact length of Tran Van Hayes' unwashed uh, Wang uh, <laughs> was unclear. <laughs> well, but some estimates, some some all the dirt on it. Some estimates <laughs> put it as long as 6.8 meters. <laughs> now, Christy, wow. Christy, that's six point eight. Like meters. 18 that's feet. like 20 so, feet. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. oh my! I had a moment where uh, my girlfriend thought she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you know, ladies, if you're uh, if you suspect that you're pregnant, tell the guy during the day. Don't wait until you're about to go to sleep. No, you know, because that's what she did. She's like, I have a cramp. I'm like, oh, I might be pregnant. Good night. Huh? I'm like, no, <laughs> Good night. I don't think so. I go, well, well, let's find out. Well, what are you gonna do? So I, you know, hauled butt to Walmart. Yep. And uh, <laughs> got a test. Got myself yeah. a little test. Doctor yeah, in a stick. box. Two, yeah, I know. Two o'clock in the morning, and of all the times to get recognized. You know, uh -huh. I walk into Walmart in the night shift. <laughs> hey, fluffy. Yeah. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> what do you need? A miracle. Uh -huh. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> All right, here's some tickets to a Grateful Dead concert. Right? All right. <laughs> so I found the aisle where they sell the pregnancy test, and I realized something. Walmart has figured out the evolution of how life works, and yeah. they put it in aisle four. As soon as you turn the corner, you see condoms. Uh -huh. Then you see lubricant. The next to the lubricant, you see pregnancy tests. The next to that, you see pampers. Next to that, formula. Uh -huh. And at the end of the aisle, they sell beer. <laughs> it's a full circle. Before we said it, of course. You know us. We're Amish Bell. No <laughs> poles, no wires, no phones, no nonsense, no shiny objects. Amish Bell. And now, new from Amish Bell, the Amish answering machine. 
Hello, Graeber. Are you there? Hello, this is Graeber. I cannot come to the door right now. I'm picking out my wardrobe for tomorrow. Please leave a message when I yell the word beep. Beep! <laughs> Graeber, this is Carl. Listen, I have front row seats to a barn raising. Please get back to me. Goodbye. The Amish Bell answering machine. Batteries tape, electricity not included. Graeber, listen, I know you're in there. Pick up. I said beep. <laughs> All right. Get back to me. Goodbye. Amish Bell, leading you into the 19th century. <laughs> I said beep. I said beep. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. This is for the people going through heartbreak right now, and you don't know what to do about it. Okay. Get sick, turn my stomach, throw up, up, chuck, pray to the porcelain god. Barf, belch, bail out, blow chunks, lose lunch, vomit, feed the fish, and heave a log. <laughs> Evacuate, all you ate, retch, rop, regurgitate, drop your cookies, puke, and spew. Pearl, purge are just a few words that come up when I think about you. <laughs> Jim Gaffigan oh, joins us in the studio. Uh, Jim is a veteran uh, comedian and actor, famous for a couple of oddball appearances on Sex in the City. Uh, uh, but I am an actor and a comedian, but I'll tell you guys, I wish I was a film director just in everyday life, so when someone was telling me a boring story, I could just go, and cut! <laughs> 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 we got it. That's a wrap. <laughs> God. When you think about it, that would come in handy. You come home oh, late, God. your wife's yeah. like, where the hell were you? And cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it again. This time you don't care where I was. <laughs> Fact, you're happy to see me. Let's try a topless. Action. <laughs> funny. It's Morgan Freeman. Oh, hey, Morgan. 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 How y'all doing? Good. I'm fine. Thank you very kindly. Oh, nice. I understand you have someone there that was talking about men making noises during <laughs> sexual encounters. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I understand you said you've never heard a man make a noise before. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, you've never been to Shawshank, Sonny. <laughs> now, in Shawshank Prison, is there a lot of, is there a lot of noise? Yeah. Oh, it's hard to sleep at night. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll bet. Andy Dufresne came to Shawshank Prison back in 1947. Uh-huh. And he had a nickname that he was known by. What was that? Oh, no, 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 please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Kostaki Economopoulos, and you are listening. Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello, Chick. Hey, there's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Good morning. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom with our very, very special guest. His picture's all over this place. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> His picture's up in this room. Here he is in the flesh. Bob is back. Hey, Bob. Hello. Bob. Woo! Yay. Chick. <laughs> hey, Bob. <laughs> I haven't been able to say that in a long there, time. There it is. Yeah, well, we've stopped saying that, Bob. No. <laughs> Big party. I would have uh, arrived an hour earlier, but I forgot how to get here. <laughs> Well, Bob, I know you've been uh, busy doing other things, but you can't get here anymore. There's so much road construction. Uh, it's I have noticed you, that. You need a helicopter. I want to thank the Canadians for my voice this morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the smoke in the air is just killing me. Yeah. It's mm. awful. It's yeah. awful. Now, uh, Bob is here for uh, to talk about something real serious. First of all, let me just preface this by saying you're doing fine. I am doing great. You're doing great. Yes. However. However, on... Uh, Friday, Good Friday of this year, mm -hmm. I was diagnosed with stomach cancer. Mm. And a uh, big shock to all of us. Uh, my wife and I stood and stared at each other for, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes going, what are we going to do? And um, we found out that uh, the process is much easier than we thought it would be. Mm. And after the first week, middle of the first week of uh, treatments, I had to do chemo and radiation. I said, you know what, why don't we do a podcast, or attempt to do one, mm -hmm. and um, take a journey, let people go on a journey with us through this thing. So every Sunday, me, my wife Becky, and our best buddy, who you all know, Wick Grayson, sat down at our kitchen table and discussed the week. And it turned out, it was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of humor <laughs> in uh, what happened to us through the week. And I know the first time you talked to me about it, 
you called me up and you said, uh, well, I'm a little concerned about uh, the chemo because uh, sometimes your hair falls out. <laughs> well, I was really afraid I was going to lose the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, if, and, and, and if we can stop for just a moment, the history of the mustache, again, is what? Uh, born June 18th, 1969, the day I graduated from high school when you were allowed to grow facial hair back then. And I have not been without it since. Wow. All right. And I was afraid it was going to fall out and people were going to see who I really am. <laughs> uh, uh -oh. So I, uh, I am very thankful for... Had not fallen out. Yeah. So you've, you've had chemo, you've had radiation, and uh, yep. the idea of the podcasts is to um, help. It's kind of yeah. a. I want to. I say it's a PSA. Mm -hmm. Okay. Public service for those who get the diagnosis, and they're going to be gobsmacked like me and Becky, and like, what the? Yeah. Mm. And it's not as bad of a journey as you think it might be. I was. My body took everything pretty good. There. Each cancer treatment for, for each person is completely different. Mm -hmm. But now, we walked through it all right. Now, Good. Uh, a couple of interesting highlights. And once again, this is a series of podcasts, and they're available all over the Everywhere, place. Everywhere. Wherever you can get a podcast, and it's we, available. We have direct links on all the Bob and Tom social media platforms. And I, I, I called Tom and asked permission uh, if I could use the term the Bob and Cancer Show. Because <laughs> that could be misinterpreted. Yes. Hi, I'm Cancer. How are so, you? Well, we've all kind of mumbled about that. We've told you too long before. Even before, before all this happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, Tom said yes, so we have uh, stolen the, uh, the oval. The and logo. Uh -huh. And it's uh, the Bob and Cancer Show. And you could find it uh, anywhere you can get a podcast. So okay. are you done with the chemo and radiation for temporarily? I am done completely. Next, um, in two weeks, I have a, uh, a scan to see how much shrunk. And then I have a surgery to remove it. And I'm done. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah. Great. Once again, our guest is Bob. And uh, Bob is uh, dealing with uh, a cancer in the stomach and the esophagus, esophagus area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, some of the unusual positive things you'll find when you listen to the podcasts, you get to eat whatever I want. Um, <laughs> you are encouraged to eat pretty much double the normal caloric intake. Yes, uh, I I consumed so much ice cream and sweets, and they Ooh. wanted calories. They wanted pro. Mm. I ate a lot of protein as well. So you're saying I'm on the right track. You, <laughs> yeah. you will never get cancer. Okay, all right. Or if you should get it, you can really beef up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This it, reminds me when I was a kid. It was when I was a little boy. The what do they call the operation? That they take out your tonsils, tracheotomy, or that yeah. adenoids, whatever it is. Oh. Adenoids. Your, your tonsil. It, it was really, really common. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and, everyone had it except mm -hmm. for me. I and, had it, and I was upset. But I didn't have to have it done, like because when you'd get it, you get to eat ice cream for ice a cream. week. Popsicles. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so but now, I never had it. So uh, now uh, you're a man of a certain age, and you get to eat all the food you want. Oh, is this is this continuing, or do you have to stop now? Well, they said once the treatments and everything was over, then you need the protein uh, to fight, uh, to build up muscle sure. to fight uh, the cancer cells and the calories just to keep me from getting sick. What was, what was the best thing you ate? <sighs> what wasn't? Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really into the, the Grater's ice cream. Mm -hmm. good, oh, yeah. good, good folks in Cincinnati have come up with yeah. a yeah. fabulous ice cream. Scientists, really. Yeah. They really yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it is beautiful. Now, there's another aspect that you'll learn if you listen to the podcast. Once again, it's called... Um, the, the Bob, Bob and, and Cancer, Cancer Show. <laughs> um, and the you, one of the things you will learn is that... Um, um, i got to be delicate as I describe this. You would uh, drive to Michigan to uh, procure... The uh, the legal. Well, let me say, when I found out I had cancer, what immediately crossed my mind, what would Willie do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this, Bob, but technically, where I live, it's a small island offshore of Michigan. No uh, so yeah, you can come hang out whenever you well, want. Well, uh, I didn't have a pass to get on the bridge to your island. <laughs> <laughs> we crossed the state line, and we. Um, we medicated ourselves. Great. No, and, and I'll tell you what, it worked. Gummies. Yes. Not 
No, the you know, because I'm having uh, the uh, radiation in the throat area and the stomach area. Mm. It was very difficult to inhale. Mm. Yeah, when you're, uh, and by the way, uh, it's funny because I remember you and I talked years ago about someone that we knew that was saying that the only thing where that we helped... could get a lid for ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> that was many years. No, yeah. so, someone that we oh, someone that we knew the only thing that really helped uh, the, keep the nausea down during this particular guy's chemotherapy was pot. Mm -hmm. So, and it's obviously different for everybody. But what's interesting to me is that uh, you found it extremely helpful with the gummies. Very. Very helpful, and uh, I, it kept me eating, and uh, it took away all my discomfort. Yeah, once again, we're talking to Bob. Bob is dealing with a cancer diagnosis. So far, so good. Yes, very good. Chemo and radiation. When you do the radiation, do you have to hold real still? Do they lock kind of lock you down? And... Yeah, they uh, well, they they go on. You get a scan of your body. Show you know they have to do like little tattoos, or, but they didn't tattoo. It's a permanent marker. And uh, you get in this position, they make a mold of your arms and your head. Mm. So once you get in there, you stay still. Similar to the position in an airport or scanner. hands over exactly. your head. Yeah. Yeah. Or do, you're a prison in do they prison give you camp. The, do, they, <laughs> do they give you the mold? Yes. Uh, no, I mean, after I'm done, yeah. do they, they sign it and give it to me? No. Because <laughs> you could take no. it, if I, if I understand this uh -huh. correctly, you could oh make my. a bob relief out of it. Here we go. Oh, Paint God. it. Who wants my arms at the top of my head? <laughs> a bob relief, if you will. Uh, yes. <laughs> I guess. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Josh uh, you, is you, desperately what's trying again? to... What's that? <laughs> what's your name again? Uh, Josh. Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's desperately <laughs> trying to get his chair back after an incident a few minutes ago. Uh-huh. Uh, um, now, uh, how about the uh, chemo? Is that... Uh, is the, are those pills... Or or they give you no no it was uh we had to sit down and get uh, chemo for three and a half hours every monday in an iv like yes mm -hmm. and uh do you get to do anything you just... well you can listen to music want well, they offer you a television with are there a lot of people around you or is it just in no you're in a we were in a private room and as everyone is it's a individual room for whoever's getting treatment and uh, we were there for three and a half hours every Monday. Did you bring your own porn, or did they have Wi-Fi? <laughs> I had to bring my own. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, Not very helpful, that really helped you. the time go by. <laughs> they frown upon that except for in the fertility. <laughs> we'll find out more. The, the, the important thing is the, uh, the podcast is called The Bob and Cancer Show, featuring Bob's wife, Becky, our good friend, Wit, who is an extraordinarily funny guy and a great writer and who has had a lot of experience uh sadly in the world of cancer yes uh, uh, we talked about that how wit went uh I, I guess 17 years with his wife she was diagnosed with breast cancer mm -hmm. and uh, eventually lost her to the disease but she had 17 great years after the diagnosis so it did extend her life uh, quite a bit no there are some positives about this by the way did i make it clear you can get these this is um uh, they're all of the podcasts are available right away, so well, it's, it's Netflix style. Yeah, well, it's a, a limited uh, edition. With uh, we have six episodes right now, with two to be completed, mm -hmm. to, I guess, and complete the story. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll do one, um, I guess, in about three weeks, and another one after the surgery is complete. So it's a limited series. And huh. there's and there's one interesting aspect of this we'll get to when we come back involving um, something that Bob did during his uh, chemo and radiation uh, that um, made him much more productive. Okay. Which is rather unexpected. Yeah. We'll find out what that was. <laughs> okay. And um, perhaps we can try that with chick you think so uh, oh think yeah. that'll work? i was just going to tell uh tom don't be embarrassed tom tell bob you got a cow heart tell him yeah. oh, i already knew that oh, oh no 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 yeah. i knew that a whole cow heart it's creepy i had yeah. I, I had yeah. i had jersey cow pants i was gonna wear coming in here and becky oh. said no <laughs> he, he moves sometimes uh, we'll be back before that <laughs> Right now, the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. It's easy to get caught up uh, mentally with all the stuff going on in the world. It's like we all have PTSD, post-COVID, et cetera, et cetera. There's a thousand channels. Life can be very confusing. Balance your life with therapy. That may be very helpful for you. It's helped a lot of people. And BetterHelp is out there to hook you up with a licensed therapist. What's especially unusual about this is this journal of uh, this this journey, I should say, of self-discovery is uh, done online. So it's entirely uh, 
much well, it's much more flexible, obviously, and much more convenient. It suits your schedule. So you fill out a brief questionnaire. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist. By the way, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge and get some balance in your life. Get hooked up with a therapist through BetterHelp. If you want to change therapists, by the way, there is no additional charge, as I indicated. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Once again, Bob's podcast with Becky and Wit are, uh, we've got links on the Bob and Tom social media pages or at BobandTom.com. You can click right on it and uh, listen and uh, hear about the journey. There's a lot of uh, interesting stuff there, a lot of actually, a lot of comedy there. You know, and, a lot uh, of funny things still happen when you're having cancer. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and right. uh, I, if, if nothing else, you get to eat all those milkshakes. Oh, yeah. there's all kinds of good stuff. Okay, we'll find out more about it in just a couple of minutes. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom, 24-7. This is Bob and Tom. He's Bob, I'm Bob, and he's Tom, and I'm Tom. What is it, Tom? San Francisco's gay Jewish congregation, Shah Arzahov, has dedicated its new synagogue. This is true, with two members engaging in the ceremonial blowing of the ram's horn. <laughs> K-I-Z-Z-F-M. Kiz. Kiz. <laughs> Lucky that doesn't start with a J. Stop it! <laughs> Dr. Ruth, can I get pregnant when a man undresses me with his eyes? Mm, only if he's cockeyed. <laughs> Golly, Earl. That might be a pretty good idea. <laughs> I'd killed my wife when I'd wanted to. I'd be out of jail by now. <laughs> Dr. Ruth, when I'm dancing, what part of my body should not move? Mm, your bowels. <laughs> I, I got some dap butt crack filler putty back here. I'll just fill that crack right in there, Bob. Comedian <laughs> Tim Allen. Oh, God. Using it's laxatives a... and a rectal scope, doctors were able to collect what? evidence over a period of four days. Oh, I must have one. <laughs> rectal scope is a mouthwash. <laughs> your color's back to your face. Oh, I was gray this morning. So is yours, Tony. Tony, you're... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. I've, I've got to go. Oh, you're getting away. My wife, when the first time she pregnant, all I saw of her for nine months was her ass hanging out of a refrigerator. And if you believe that, I can't say that. <laughs> Bishop Emeritus Frederick W. Freaking, who headed the Roman Catholic Freaking. Diocese. That's his name. He was 85. Did they have to pull the freaking plug? <laughs> hey, boys, this is the Pope. It's the Pope. I got to go to the freaking funeral. <laughs> Staff. There are there a lot of bigger, bigger staff, staff is my last name. Yeah. It's a German name. It means probably going home alone tonight. <laughs> uh-huh. Do you get the porn jokes with that one? Always. Oh, yeah. All the time. Hey, is your middle name looking for a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I was doing... <laughs> looking for a... That, that Bob, looking... Bob looking for a bigger staff. Mm, I yeah. wish you had a... That wouldn't be good. <laughs> I wish you had a... I got it. I wish I had a... Get this. I'm doing a show a couple weeks ago. Girl comes up to me after the show. She's like, uh, she's wow. Like, she, yeah, hot chick. Amazing. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Play along. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, so, that's what happened. She's, <laughs> she's like, bigger staff. She goes, that's my last name, too. And oh. she shows me her license. Right? She's like, we've, we've got to be related. She's like, we're going to party tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah? And one of the other comedians is like, hey, man, I think you got a shot with her. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, you know, when the, when the conversation starts with we've got to be related. <laughs> <laughs> probably not going to end with me having sex with her. Yeah, probably not. I'm going to try. Sure. Because <laughs> yeah. you're a guy. I just. Sure. Right. I know how these things end. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah. Stay positive. Yeah. First cousin or not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a, uh, that's a myth. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, um, Roy Wood Jr., you are a, a junior, obviously. Yes. Uh, when you went into uh, showbiz in the beginning, uh, you probably had the option of going with Roy Wood or going with the Roy Wood Jr. I started in 98, and that was like the back end of the Def Jam boom and the comic the comic view boom for black comedy. So every black comic was named after food or... or 
Like, th- their name was a verb. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. Give it up for tripping. Like, tripping? Like, well, yeah, tripping. You know, you be tripping. If I trip, then I'm tripping. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Give it up for slappy. Like, I like to want to be that. Wow. <laughs> I'm not slappy Wood, Wood Jr. Happy. I often give it up for slappy. Uh, Come on, uh-huh. Slappy Wood. Mm-hmm. And I mean, <laughs> slappy Wood. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so, all those. Speaking of porn names. <laughs> But you can't. You have to go ooh, 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 or you end up on the wrong island. <laughs> <laughs> they put two airports on the island of Maui. They call one of them something like Killy Willy Pilly, and then they call the other one uh, Willy Willy Polly. Uh-huh. Right, I go to the wrong one. I'm the idiot. <laughs> Some guy at the airport in a flowered shirt. You know, You're supposed to be at Hilly Willy Pilly, not Willy Willy Polly. All cheerful and everything. Why don't you call one of them My My Pee Pee? Ow, ow. <laughs> Buy a consonant the next time you spin the wheel, Don. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Why'd you name everything over here? What'd you do, bring a stutterer over and tell him to hurry up? <laughs> hey, what would you call that tree? And, 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 okay, that's good enough. <laughs> How about that mountain over there? Oh, my, 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 okay, that's good. <laughs> How about those big birds? Oh, oh, yeah, keep moving. Those will be the oh, oh birds, won't they? <laughs> You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hey. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. Willie Griswold here. Hey, man. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom with our super special guests. Thank you very much, Chick. Yeah. Bob joins us in the studio. Chick. Hey, hey, hey. That's right. <laughs> and uh, Chick, uh, Chick once again. Um, what? Uh, going by the new uh, nickname. Big party. Big party. Oh, that's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, I take a big party with me. You know oh, how, yeah. how, how yeah. outgoing and partying I am. <laughs> big party. Right here, man. Big party. Over the years, Bob, you've been retired for uh, many years. You've, yeah. You've, you've missed several. Uh, big parties. Uh, incarnations. <laughs> Is that the word I'm looking well, for? Well, big party, uh-huh. in all fairness, just started today. No. So, yeah. Yeah. What you know, were you uh, before that? Uh, uh, well, well, it was King Peckerhead. King Peckerhead for a, a <laughs> brief. brief. I would have swore that was Tom. <laughs> well, oddly enough, he's the one who gave me the nickname huh. King Peckerhead. And then uh, there was a... Uh, uh, sports doctor. The sports doctor. Sports That's doctor. the classic. You know yeah. what I'm class. Our pictures uh, uh, with me and Scrubs. Sure. And sports of Soros Rex. Sports of Soros mm-hmm. Rex. Right. Nice. Uh, just awful. I didn't like I that. like the big party. Yeah. The big party. Oh, good. Well, big party is here. Bob is here to talking about his uh, new podcast. And the title of the podcast will tell you something. It's called The Bob and Cancer Show. Yes. Give us the uh, reason you're calling it that, Bob. Uh, well, I have cancer. And I am in the process of eliminating it. I just went through chemotherapy and radiation. And uh, the next big step is the surgery to actually take it out, and I will be cancer-free. Now, after the radiation, can you uh, stand in a dark room and do you glow a little bit? Yeah, there there are, we talk about that on the, uh, <laughs> on the yeah. podcast. Yeah. Oh, I right. asked if I would glow in the dark. Yeah. And uh, they said I would not. Oh. Oh, what about know. a Geiger counter? Do you go... You know, I never asked about that. <laughs> I don't Actually, know. Chick, you do the guy. Um, oh. that's, that's not very good this morning. Mm-hmm. No, no, that's is that's that Wookie? It's kind of predator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll try Wookie again. Okay. Uh, the podcast features Bob's wife Becky and our friend Wit talking about the uh, process week to week to week of going through. Uh, radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Yeah. I thought I'd just open some eyes for some folks who get the same news we do, and uh, it's not as horrifying as you imagine. It's actually uh, very easy to go through. Speaking of eyes, during this, you had an incident involving your eyes. 
Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, the bear spray. The bear spray. Oh, yeah. Bear spray. Yes. Well, uh, yes. I, I, well, let's put it this way. I went to chemo and radiation. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I go to chemo, they give me steroids before the chemo. Mm. And the steroids get me going. I mean, when the, everything's done, I go home and I, I would clean the house. I, would, I have a lot of energy. Gotcha. Well, we had a storm, and I decided to go out and clean all the debris with a leaf blower. <laughs> Went out there, did everything, mm -hmm. put the leaf blower back on the utility hook, and when I set it down, I triggered <laughs> a can of bear spray oh, nice. right into my face. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Let me tell you, a stupid thing. Uh -huh. uh, if you have bear spray at home, get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> Do not hang it in the garage. <laughs> Did you... Uh... Oh, it was horrible. Oh. And I, you know, I didn't know what to do. I'm screaming for Becky, and she looks it up, and the next thing you know, I'm in the shower for 20 minutes with my eyes open oh, in the water. Yeah. Oh, scrubbing man. soap. Uh, baby tears stuff that yeah. baby on the shampoo Just a lot of into my eyes. Curiosity, are there a lot of bears in your neighborhood? I... <laughs> well, Tom, this was this was a, uh, a use. Well, not use because this was the first time it was sprayed. Uh, we purchased it in 2016 <laughs> when we went to Glacier National Park. Okay, a good place uh, for it. Someone told us there's a lot of bears there. Yeah, there's a lot of bears there. <laughs> so All that's right. a, good, a good reason to have it. Though. Sure. Yeah. And but, I, obviously it hadn't expired. But there's no reason. <laughs> no. In fact, it may have gotten more potent. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a fine wine. <laughs> no. but, uh, Holy hell. If you have bear spray, uh -huh. uh, dispose of it. <laughs> In God. your opinion, do you think it would scare off a bear? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gives you 20 minutes to run. <laughs> Oh, but, that's yeah. That's oh, all. wow. So back to, you're, you're getting chemo and, and you're getting radiation therapy. Yes. N and you were warned of some side effects. We talked about the fact that you were concerned that your hair might fall out, but your mustache is yeah, intact. Said, your sideburns uh, there, your hair's there. Before uh, radiation and chemo started, we go through uh, a few classes that they teach you what could possibly happen to your body and what to do, what not to do. And they said hair loss is certainly one that can happen. And I'm thinking, oh boy, here it goes. Mm. And uh, it never came. I never lost any hair at all. Mm. So I get to celebrate the mustache's birthday. Yeah, oh, coming right. on. A couple of weeks. 10 days. Uh, 10 days. Yeah. 10 days your mustache turns. 54. Wow. Oh, that's 54 nice. 54 years old. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, now, look, let's go back to the very, very beginning. It was on uh, Good Friday. Yes. That you found out about that you had cancer. Can you, you were just getting a regular physical? Regular physical, and every year I get a chest x ray mm -hmm. uh, because I'm a former smoker. And um, a couple of dots pop, popped up on the x ray. And uh, they said, well, we should go investigate this. We did, did a scan, PET scan, and then a uh, endoscopic ultrasound and had to go. Down the, camera, the camera down the throat, Oof. and there it was. Mm. Oof. Wow. And that was on Good Friday. Mm. And Easter wasn't that much fun this year. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 So, and the therapy started pretty much right away? Uh, we had a, that week of uh, classes, learning this, learning that, and it was the following Monday for uh, five and a half weeks. Mm. And when did you get to start the special diet of extra calories? Uh, right away, that, that week of... Uh, the classes, they said that you, you have to start hydrating at least uh, 100 uh, to about 100 ounces a day. That's a lot of fluid. Of water or beer? No. <laughs> <laughs> had no alcohol at all. I was hmm. uh, But it was, uh, it didn't count my favorite drink, a Diet Pepsi. Mm. Mm. Uh, it was water, Gatorade, stuff that hydrates you. Gotcha. Mm. 100 ounces a day. God, I beat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. then tons of calories and tons of protein. And that really does help fight the cancer. But you say in the podcast, you're supposed to eat when you're not hungry. Or how does it was, that, what was it again? Uh, to eat like every two or three hours all day long. So you, I was never full. I was never, I, I was never hungry. But I still had to eat to get the protein in the body to keep mm. going. Mm. Once again, we're talking to Bob, and Bob's uh, limited edition podcast 
Uh, it's free. Yeah, so there's no and, and no one's making money on this it's, one. No. It's, it's the the uh, idea is to uh, if you know someone going through this, if you're going through it uh, week to week, uh, you can hear what Bob's journey was. Every journey will be different, yep. but you can hear how it worked. And once again, it's called the Bob and Cancer Show, and we're setting it up so there are links on the various Bob and Tom social media platforms, uh, and it's uh, it's available in a number of places, so you can get it on uh, Spotify or wherever you are. Yeah, just about everywhere. Once again, the Bob and Cancer Show. Well, why don't we go back to what we usually do here and uh, do some news stories for Bob. Oh, uh, this is for you, Bobby. All right. The Woolshed Pub in Australia has taken down and apologized for its recent promotion, offering free drinks to women based on their bra size. Oh. <laughs> the venue posted the advertisement on its Facebook page over the weekend with an offer to get one free drink for an A cup, two free drinks for B cup, and three free drinks if you're a C cup. Oh. The bigger, the better, the post said. <laughs> well, the bigger, the chance of them taking their tops off, too. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Is the cup uh, the actual, like, uh, a C cup? <laughs> oh, I don't know. That, that's that interesting. They drink that you have to drink from your but own But they process? had to. Uh, they had to take it down and apologize. Yeah. It sounds like something would we we would do in the eighties. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and be very successful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the name of the A cup who was mad about this is. <laughs> You know, she ruined it for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> all right, calm down, Tiny. Yeah, all right. Hey, hey the ironing board's mad. Uh, <laughs> the itty bitty city. Uh, the committee. Of, uh, okay. A man in Rhode Island has been accused of breaking into folks' homes and stealing sex toys. <laughs> According to police, officers responded to a home in Providence, Rhode Island, for a report of a man trying to break through a window. Police said the resident confronted the suspect who allegedly apologized, told the resident he had the wrong house. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Officers later found the suspect, a Mr. Benjamin Nadrowski, who admitted to entering a home and stealing a sex toy from a bedroom. The 32-year-old was questioned about other break-ins in the area, and he admitted to stealing two more sex toys from other homes. It was me. Told police... <laughs> He intended to give the toys to someone as a birthday gift. Boy, that lucky lady. So he's like the Robin Hood of dildos. Yes. Huh. <laughs> WPRI. WPRI. Revealing the facts yes. every day. Oh, <laughs> doing important work. Yeah. Sounds like. Prying into your personal business. Yeah. Yeah. Reports yeah. Nadrowski was arraigned on two counts each of entering a building with felonious intent mm. and attempting breaking and entering. Yeah. So, so he went to the wrong house and still got a toy. Yeah. 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 So he's that? specifically just stealing the sex toys. Yes. So there's something. For a birthday. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think he yeah. made that up. I would check their towels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And their That's, bedspreads. Uh, yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, my shower curtain. I've told you this story before. I don't know if you've heard this. I um, knew a woman who um, had someone break into her apartment. And all of her panties were stolen, <laughs> except for one pair that were um, abused and uh -oh. on the middle of the bed. Yeah. Oh, my. So she called the police. Several years later, mm -hmm. the police called and said, we caught the guy. Wow. And it was a guy going through the high school yearbook. <laughs> oh, boy. One at a time. How about uh -huh. that? And they've caught him. And, he and you don't like reunions. <laughs> So, a very specific fetish, fetish. if you will. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't, what, wasn't there to steal their money just to... And, and I, I obviously, uh, he had hundreds of panties in a drawer at his house. Obviously. For home games. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, anyway, very so odd. Very odd. Mm -hmm. This video was everywhere yesterday. I hope you had a chance to see it. An Illinois exercise enthusiast was literally caught with her pants down after she took a tumble on a treadmill at the gym and ended up with her leggings around her ankles. Yikes. Hmm. Footage of the embarrassing pratfall currently blowing up on her Instagram page, and in, it was everywhere. This is why I stay off treadmills. <laughs> oh. 
and Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Dangerous. Alyssa Conkle, 26, told Compass Media of the humiliating experience, quote, I was just running at the gym and my pants got sucked off. <laughs> my, <laughs> my pants got, got sucked, sucked off. off. Yeah, Josh, you may want to join a gym where you got sucked off. <laughs> I didn't know that was happening. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. you should start going. <laughs> but for Josh, it would only be the pants. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's your name, right, Josh? Okay. Yeah, yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it was Jerry for some reason. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Wow. Man. That's a pretty funny video. I, I mean, I'm glad she wasn't hurt because you could get hurt if you fall yeah. on a treadmill. Yeah, like I that. think so. Here's an, an interesting story from Hotels.com. They've released a report detailing some of the more unusual room service requests that guests have. Is the phrase sucked off in this story? <laughs> <laughs> no, not officially. <laughs> um, the number one, or number one on this list, I don't think there's, it's, quantitative uh diet water somebody asked for diet water diet water yeah i don't want any of that high calorie <laughs> water what that clear oh. stuff huh? yeah <laughs> uh melted ice cream oh you're oh, a I, fan of the melted I ice like cream my, I throw isn't it that right milk right with sugar <laughs> <I throw it. laughs> can't you just get ice cream and let it melt yeah i do that sometimes you want it now you want it now yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> get it started in the this, microwave, eh? This might be code for sucked off. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is it? Somebody requested. Are you waving your hands? What are you doing? Somebody requested blowfish. Oh. Oh, the blowfish. <laughs> yeah. The old, uh, Why would someone ask for you, a blowfish? You have to have the caveat. These, these are hotels all over the world. Well, sure. Still. Well, that's a delicacy in some places. Very, a dangerous delicacy. You have to be careful how it's yeah, prepared. Yeah, how it's prepared or you'll die, right? Yeah, it can kill you. Yeah. Boiled bottled water. Hmm. Okay. A cooked fish that the guests brought with them. Hey, you mind All cooking right. this up? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're saying this isn't a you buy, we fry hotel? Yeah. yeah that stinks. A no egg white omelet. Okay. So just the oh, yolk? Oh, yolk. Just oh, yolk. Yeah. <laughs> I've never considered that. Wow. Wow. Um, That's protein, baby. Yes, sir. It is. Rice bowl for a dog. All right. Aww. I don't know what dog. this is. Cockle popcorn? Well, cockle. that's uh, that's, that's popcorn for, uh, for a cockle. Yeah, you got your uh, you, got, you put uh -huh. your cockle. Cockles are like um, mussels, right? They're uh, like a. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I've never heard song. of it. What are you, a Dickens novel? What are you talking about? Well, I've I've, I've, I've traveled. <laughs> and, uh, cockle show. I've had a cockle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, are, what, what is a cockle? Co cockles. cockles and mussels yeah. alive, alive. Oh, that thing, that yeah. Irish. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cockles. Burgers are the most. Oh, bison is on the list too. But I think. That's not that unusual. Burgers are the most popular room service order. The Plaza Hotel in New York is home to one of the most famous room service orders. Oh, yeah? The Home Alone Sunday, oh. featuring 16 scoops of ice cream and layers of toppings for $300. Wow. The Post Oak Hotel in Houston offers a $1,600 burger <laughs> made with 16 ounces of Wagyu beef seared foie gras and black truffle in a caviar infused black and 24 karat gold brioche bun. Oh, yeah, come on. But they, <laughs> they still only give you one of those three inch catch ups. Yeah. 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 Such a bun. That, yeah. better, that better come with Suckathon Susie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Suckathon Susie. $1,600. Oh, I thought he said sushi. So <laughs> the blowfish, baby. Come on, come on. The blowfish time. Yeah, you, you want the uncooked blowfish. Wow. wow. Um, oh, yeah. Heck. I'm. Uh, I used to work at a hotel, so I we would get. Some Did you have room service at your hotel? Remember, he got women. For Didn't guys. you uh, procure? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. I was, I oh, was okay. asked. No. Uh, I was Eddie asked. Sinclair, right? That's Eddie. right. Eddie. Eddie Sincere. Eddie Sincere. The and guy please, said, please "What a use name!" Your, uh, please use the voice you had then, by the way, when you were, <laughs> when you were just well, a little guy. That's I went up to one of the rooms, and uh, <laughs> this guy said. Uh, uh, you know, can I get a, a girl? Uh -huh. And I went, what? And he said, well, last time I was here, I, you know, you guys, you guys got me a hooker. And I was, I was, I just turned how old, 16. I was say, how old are you? 16. Yeah. And uh, it was the Holiday Inn in Chagrin Falls, Ohio. Nice. And I was the bellman. <clears throat> Had a little, one of those, one of those red jackets that only goes down to your waist. How about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh the ejaculate. The yes. ejaculate. Right. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. The Eisenhower jacket. Right. And I said, uh, then the guy, I said, well, who, who got you the girl last time? And he described the guy and I said, oh, that's the night Bellman, that's Eddie Sincere. But that's oh. not the voice you had when you were 16. Oh, that's Eddie Sincere, sir. <laughs> I'll leave him a note to come Now do you Eddie's know. voice, I dare no. you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need, man? What do you need? And uh, yeah. Eddie would keep uh, liquor 
in our little Bellman closet. Oh, yeah, he was. Uh, behind the buckets, uh, and he had, had an array of For the staff? Booze. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, he was an interesting guy. Uh, good old uh, Eddie Sincere. Now, uh, it's uh, time to uh, think about Father's Day. And, uh, Josh, what's the best thing that dads want out there? Oh, come on. You know it. I know it. Omaha Steaks. That's right. Perfectly aged, always tender, guaranteed delicious. Father's Day is right around the corner, and the experts at Omaha Steaks, well... They've made it easy to put a smile on the big guy's face with hand-selected packages. Head over to omahasteaks.com, use promo code BTS at checkout, get $30 off your qualifying order. Packages may include fork tender bacon wrapped fillets mignon. That's how we say it, Bob, when it's plural, fillets hmm. mignon. Well, you know? I, I like more than one. Yeah, <laughs> air, air chilled boneless chicken. When you breast. read it like that, I think douches bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, deuces. All, deuces. Sorry, <laughs> ultra juicy burgers, jumbo Frank, so many more favorites. Whether he's your father, a father-in-law, a father figure, he's the guy who was always ready to step up when you needed him most. This Father's Day, show him the love. With the only gift as unforgettable as he, the mouth-watering perfection of Omaha Steaks. Don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com. Use code BTS at checkout. Get $30 off an unforgettable gift guaranteed to make Dad's Day. Because if there's one thing we know, it's the Dad's One Steak. That's omahasteaks.com. Code BTS at checkout. Thank you very much. If you go to uh, the Bob and Tom website... Uh, you just scroll down, and the second thing up there is uh, what looks like the old Bob and Tom logo, but it says the Bob and Cancer Show, and it's Bob and Becky and Wit, and uh, talking about Bob's gastric cancer diagnosis and the chemotherapy and radiation therapies had, and uh, you can uh, listen to the episodes, and there is a direct link there. You click on it; it's also on. Uh, it's all over the place. You can find it on. Um, Thanks for doing that. On, uh, uh, for example, Spotify. That's how I listen to it. So um, check it out. It's the Bob and Cancer Show, and uh, Bob's going to hang out with us for a few more minutes. Yes, sir. And we'll be right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show. This I, I wrote this song. Uh, it's, a, it's a revenge song for all of today's country music fans. All right. And uh, this is it. Oh, and I, when I sing this song, I use my...
Cubs. And winners last night in the WNBA, Las Vegas and Seattle in regulation. And Chicago wins in overtime, beating Indiana. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Hey, Shooter, it's Kenny Tarmac. Hey, we just landed. I'm an ORD, just got in from TPA through ATL. And hey, guess what else just landed? The Bob and Tom app. I know, I know. Now, thanks to the Bob and Tom app, even if I have to go all the way from Foxtrot 20 down to Alpha 4, I can still listen live, see their videos, find an affiliate station, use the alarm, and even send a message. This is Kenny Tarmac signing off and reminding you, everything I touch turns to sold. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24 7. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom 24 7. 24 7. 24 7. Sex is so prevalent in our society that nobody mentions what happens if you keep having it. You know, that, uh, <laughs> I fell into, I think every porno movie should end with giving birth to triplets. You know, just, <laughs> just as a disclaimer, you know. <laughs> so everybody knows, you know, what you get, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm a stepfather, too. I'm a stepfather, too, which I've been for a few years now. And uh, if you're not a step-parent, you know, you don't realize the warmth and rewards that you get for the warm, loving feeling. And it's, uh, I hate you. Okay, here's some more money. You know, uh, you know, you're not like my real dad. You know, that's right. You can find me. You know. <laughs> okay. track, track down your real deadbeat dad and have him pay for these Barbie accessories. You know, I'd... Hey, everybody, this is Jimmy Pardo. You recognize my voice from the show and my face from television. You are listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedian Greg Fitzsimmons has joined us in the studio. You're a New Yorker. Uh, yeah. How's that going? New York's good. Not bad. It's, uh, it's a strange place because no matter where you work or what you do, you come in contact with freaks. <laughs> you know, I, I, like I, I, grew, I worked at a gas station for a couple of years, and the guy I worked with, Strange man, former porno movie star from the 70s. Really? Yeah, he'd get confused every time he'd fill the tank. Halfway through, he'd pull it out and spray it all over the car. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we lost a lot of good pets. Uh, <laughs> it's time once again for People Who Suck at Small Talk. <laughs> hey, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, it, it is rather amazing the cyclical manner in, in which meteorological trends manifest themselves. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I f***ing ass. <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. <laughs> all day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Attention. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Hey there, man. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold with uh, The Legend. Our um, special guest is Bob. Yes, sir. As Chick. In, <laughs> as in Bob and Tom, and uh, Bob Cavoyan is here with us. Bob has a uh, new podcast out there. The title gives you a little bit of a hint. It's called The uh, Bob and Cancer Show. A limited series. Um, it's yeah. about uh, Bob's uh, cancer treatments. And uh, Bob has been uh, diagnosed with gastric cancer, gone through chemo, radiation, everything's going great. You're yes. going to have a little surgery around the corner. Yes, indeed. That'll be, uh, um, I'm guessing, about a month away. And uh, you can hear Bob talking about it with his wife, Becky, and his friend, Wit. We have a uh, direct link to it if you go to the Bob and Tom website. It's real easy, bobandtom.com. It's right there. You just scroll down a couple of inches, and it's, you can see the logo and uh, link and find out. Uh, listen to the podcasts. Well, that's what they told me when we went through this. They said, live your life and just enjoy your life while you're going through all this chemo and radiation. And we did. And we laughed and we had a very positive attitude through all this. And I think that Helps. really helped. Yeah. Really helped. And then every Sunday, I did all of my treatments on Monday and then a radiation Monday through Friday. But every Sunday, we'd gather and talk about what had happened in the previous week. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a little like a therapy session with microphones. Yeah. And uh, microphones and uh, bear spray. Yeah. Well, there's that. Mm -hmm. uh, You'll find out about that if you listen. Uh, Bob, I know you've been through a lot. I have. But uh, I'm sorry to do this to you, but... Uh, Cruise that yeah. sexy man with a deep voice. There he is. Ace Cosby, right. here he is with his 
joke of the day. Hey, Bob, what's it mean when you uh, find a horseshoe? I don't know. Some poor horse is walking around in his socks. That was a Cosby's joke of the see? day. See? 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 I, I didn't want All him right, to hurt. Now, I didn't well, want let him me to compare it to a radiation in Cuba. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's shorter. <laughs> yeah. It is shorter. Oh, there's shorter. that. There's that aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. okay. I didn't want to hurt him. Busting a gut laugh. Uh, no, oh, no, that's no. That's after the surgery. You're, you're thinking of. Uh, yeah. right now, um, <laughs> thank you very much. Andy. We had a, a sad news story this morning. Um, uh, that the live and PGA can. Uh, no, oh, that's, that's wild. Sad, isn't it? That's yeah. sad. This about the uh, death. Of the woman who sang. Oh, yeah. This oh, song. Oh, this is Girls from Ipanema? Yeah. Oh, yeah. International hit. She died at the age of 83. Uh -huh. Listen to that stereo. Someone just reminded me of this. Okay. Yeah. In the movie The Blues Brothers, <laughs> when they get on the elevator at the oh. Cook County Tax Assessor's Office, the Muzak version of that is playing in the elevator. All right. Huh. Someone pays attention yep. to movies That's just a little too close. These to two right here. Yeah. Uh, we uh, enjoy uh, cinema. Uh, yes. A lot of, uh, lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> entertains me. Astrid once again, Gilberto uh, was her name. Uh, once again, uh, Bob's podcasts, a uh, handful of them are already available. Yes, and there's six available, and we anticipate a total of eight. All okay. right. All right, so uh, catch up with what's going on. It's a, it, it's an interesting listen if you've uh, experienced cancer in your life or if you're about to go through it. Everyone's journey is going to be different. That's true. But Bob will tell you about what happened with his, and uh, Wit uh, weighs in because he has had a lot of experience with it sure. as well. Oh, yeah. So find out what it's all about. Once again, um, it's on uh, Spotify, lots of other spots. Uh, it's everywhere you, you get a podcast. You right? get a podcast. Yeah. Once again, the Bob and Cancer Show. Yes. So uh, I think it's time to review. Is that correct? Uh, the things we learned today? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. What day is today? Uh, today June, is June 7th. Today is Wednesday. June, <laughs> June 7th. Are you going to do history? Or? I'm going to try to find it. Give me right. just a second over here. Well, well, should have been prepared. Um, uh, we only have a minute, so. Okay. Today in history. Oh, boy. This is bad. Uh oh All right. 1924, George Mallory, famous for what? The Mallow Cup. Uh, yes, you said it's a Mallory. Um, he said no. Mallory hardware. He said no to peanut butter. Put uh, marshmallow in there. Yeah. Disappeared uh, some 700 feet from Everest Summit. Oh, they think that he guy. may have made it. They don't know. Oh. Uh, First yeah. guy? They may be. They don't know if he made it to the top. <laughs> mm, okay. Um, what so. a half assed record. <laughs> uh, no kidding. Well, you want to be known for accomplishing something, not disappearing. Almost. Yeah. Well, okay. How about this? Dwight Eisenhower, first president to appear in a color television in 1955. <laughs> wow. On top of Mount Everest. <laughs> really something. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, there you yeah. Go. I'm glad it was, yeah. uh -huh. was yeah. Eisenhower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really awkward. I'm glad they said uh, <laughs> color TV. Uh, yeah. There. Yeah, right. <laughs> I believe they mean TV Thank of you. color. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, oh, Jerry. Very helpful. Say we'll be back. Well, Bob's podcast. Um, yeah. Once again, it's out there. Everywhere. We'll remind you it's on all of our social media platforms linked. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel.